Okay, it should be live now. Are we live now? It looks like we are indeed. Excellent. Okay. So here we are. Final Fantasy 1 has been completed. Um, so today we're starting number two. A few little things to set up here and then uh, get started in a little minute here. Okay. So yeah, Final Fantasy 1 is down, uh, written down, books on that one are done. We're going to be starting Final Fantasy 2 today. Um, this is the Game Boy Advanced version, which, well, as you can see here, Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Dawn of Souls, it was released on the Game Boy Advance. So I think there's some upgraded graphics and I think there's some slight changes to the gameplay. I'm not 100% sure all the changes, but anyways. Um, yeah, the plan is, of course, if this is the first time you are enjoying this, the plan is to beat every single Final Fantasy game from 1 to 16, minus some of the online ones. Um, that's the plan. Hopefully that goes well. So far it has. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 1 was a huge blast. I really enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to this. Um, I guess we can just get started. It looks like we're ready to go. Uh, you know what? I did buy this game used, obviously. I mean, it's like 20 years old. I wonder if there's a save game on here. There is. <laughs> Somebody's has their save game on here. That's hilarious. Oh, I wonder how old this save file is. Looks like they only played for like an hour. Oh, which version is this one? Hello, James. This is um, Final Fantasy 1 and 2, what was it called? Lost Souls or something? It's the Game Boy Advanced version. So I think there's some changes. I, I know the graphics are a bit different. And then I think there was some gameplay changes between the original and this one, but I don't know what the changes are. And yeah, anyways, we'll uh, start out here. Okay, we get to pick our characters, uh, assign names to the characters. Oh, there are two other files. Oh, I can check. Was there more files? Oh yeah, empty and empty. Yeah. So just this one. I have no idea how old this save file is. I'd be curious who used to own this. But yeah, this was only an hour of playtime, so maybe they did didn't enjoy it and <laughs> sold it to uh, the uh, shop I bought it at. Who knows? Anyways, we're going to start our own adventure. Um, so is this just name changes? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it looks like these are just the names. I don't actually change the, uh, the uh, classes or anything like that. Um, I guess I'll keep them as... Um, as the names here, we'll keep the canon names as uh, as is. Uh, I guess we're done. Start the game with these names, sure. Firion, Maria, Guy, and Leon. A long-lived peace. Yeah, this looks way different than <laughs> the first one. Is at an end. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh no. The Emperor of Palamencia has called for- oh, and begun his campaign for world conquest. Hello Josh as well, everybody's back. Good to see you all. Just in time. A rebel army arose in the kingdom of Finn and thwar- oh man, I'm too slow at reading with my lips. But the rebel's castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. I got through that one.
left with little choice the rebels withdrew to the remote town of Altair. I recognize that name. Altair. Four youths from Finn also found themselves fleeing the Imperial forces. They had lost their parents at the hands of the Empire. But their escape wasn't over. Is this where we begin our journey? Oh, it is. We're straight into the battle, aren't we? Uh, we will, I guess, attack? Oh my god, it's already... it already feels so much better. Okay, let's uh, fight some stuff. Uh, do you have any magic? No, of course you don't. I guess you just attack this one and you don't have any magic. Oop, you fight that one. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Let's hope that... You know what? Oh. Okay. That was a good try. I guess we'll start over from the last save then. Oh good. Hilda, will he live? Minwu, he will. I sense a strong life force within him. The Donna Souls version are amazing with quality of life improvements. Yes, Donna Souls, that's what the name of this one is. I, I heard there's some uh, improvements. I'm not sure what they are, but I, I'm sure I'm going to appreciate them. You should regain consciousness soon. Hilda, we found them like this on the escape from Finn. Fallen from terrible wounds. By the time we brought them here, I feared it was already too late. Minwu, his life is not in danger. This sigil will strengthen his life force. We should let them rest now. Let him rest now. Hilda, of course. We'd best be off to the meeting. I imagine they are they're already waiting for us. If the Empire is allowed to complete the Dreadnought they're building in Basque, their attack will begin in earnest. Uh-oh. We cannot sit idly by and watch. We must act. I do not want to see this dreadnought complete. That sounds dangerous. Kind of looks like we're inside a Pokeball, doesn't it? Okay. Furion, where am I? Leon. Maria. Guy. Where are you? Interesting. So I was wondering, because the first one, the heroes are sort of... Um, faceless, speechless sort of protagonists. And the big thing that I'd always noticed about Final Fantasy games is the main characters are always fleshed out and they all have their own personalities and stuff, which was missing from the first game. And I was wondering at what point during the series they that was going to start to become the norm, but it looks like it's right into the second one is when that became a thing. Uh, Maria, Furion, you're alive. I, I thought, I thought you'd... I'm fine, Maria. You all right too, guy? But wait, where's Leon? Princess of Finn saved us, but Leon, not here. I see. Don't worry, I'm sure he's okay. And we're... Oh, no, we're not off yet. Still cutscene. <laughs> Hilda, so you've regained your strength. Very good. Your life force is strong indeed. It was you who saved us, wasn't it? Thank you. Forgive me, your highness, but there is something I must ask of you. Please allow us to join the rebel army. I could never allow such a thing. You know nothing of battle. You would only be throwing your lives away. You should return to your homes. But we have no homes. Not anymore. The Imperials attacked and our parents. Our parents, well, they died. They told us that already. I'm truly sorry, but even so, this changes nothing. I cannot permit you to join our army. If you've nowhere else to go, you're welcome to stay here in Altair. You, if you know our password, you should be able to live here well enough. The password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. Uh, learn? Wild Rose. 
Interesting mechanic. It's okay. We'll ask. We'll ask about Wild Rose. Wild Rose is the insignia of the Kingdom of Finn. It, re it represents our hope for a future that flourishes in both strength and beauty. But what will become of Finn now? I've heard that the Empire's captives have been taken there and suffer even as we speak. Maria, your brother, Leon, is missing, is he not? I was going to say, there's only three of us here. There should be four. It's possible that he's being held in Finn as well. But Finn is too far, is far too dangerous now, and the Empire's beasts still stalk the streets. Gaining entrance to the city will not be easy. The man at my right is Minwu, the white wizard who tended your wounds. Speak with him before you leave. He may be of some assistance. There are no key items to learn. Okay, so when there's like a colored item on there, I guess we learn about it? But the learn and ask is a big thing. Keep it in mind, it's easy to forget about. Yes! I was noticing it's a pretty interesting uh, mechanic that I'm assuming is going to be a big part of the speech. So I will try to remember it. I am known for forgetting important mechanics in games. I see your destiny clearly. The future it holds seems closely entwined with my own. You will begin by journeying to Finn. That is the first step towards realizing your face. So if I just hit learn, yeah, there are no keywords to learn. Okay, so I can ask about the Wild Rose. Interesting. You've wasted no time using the password. Heed well the information it will bring you. You can learn much value by listening. I offer you one more bit of advice before you depart, depart for Finn. Those who have fallen in battle can be revived at a sanctuary. Should one of you fall before you reach Finn, go without hesitation to the nearest sanctuary. Okay. Uh, and then, okay, B is to leave. Interesting. Ooh, I should check uh, how the... Uh, text shows up on stream. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. I had to kind of squish it in because the uh, aspect ratio of this game is a little wider than the 4x3 that the uh, first game was, so the chat's a little squished on the side, but it looks fine, I think. Maybe I'll change it around later, but for now this is uh, as good as I can get. Okay, um, so we're in town of Altair. We need to go to Finn to save our brother. What is with Final Fantasy and old men dancing in a in a weird pattern? Would you let me teach you about key terms? Sure. In the course of conversation with someone, a particular important word may come up. When this happens, three commands will appear. Ask, learn, and items. Select learn to commit the key to term to memory. You can then use the ask to ask people about any key terms you learned. Keep in mind that only certain words can be learned this way. To show someone an item from your inventory, select items. When you learn new words or find rare items, you should ask people about the words or show them what you've found. Okay, I kind of gathered that. Uh, on skill levels, sure. Skill levels can be divided into two broad categories, weapon skill levels and magic skill levels. Wait, there's more! Weapon skill levels are divided by weapon type. Oh boy, we're just gonna keep dividing, aren't we? Weapon types such as swords and axes. Similarly, magic skills are divided. Spells like cure and fire each have their own skill level. Attacking with a given type of weapon improves the corresponding weapon skill. Okay, that's interesting to know. As your skill level rise, your attack and accuracy with those types of weapons will likewise improve. Casting or giving spell improves the corresponding magic. Okay, so far all makes sense. Uh, spells become more powerful and effective as their skill level rises. Okay. Would you like to learn about armor? Sure. Oops, I missed that. There are four types of armor I saw. Shields are equipped in the same fashion as one-handed weapons in either the right or left hand. Since wearing a shield only requires one hand, you can also equip any one-handed weapon along with it. Should you, should you so choose, you can equip two shields, one in each hand. This makes it possible to attack. However, helms are equipped on the head. <laughs> That's important information to know. Thank you for telling me that. Gauntlets on the hands and forearms, and body armor, of course, on the body. Provided you can afford it, you should always keep your party protected with good armor. Good advice. Lesson on magic. I think we will. I'm 99% sure I could figure this out as we go, but just in case there's some little bit of information that I'd miss otherwise, it's good to learn all this. 
There are two schools of magic. Flat magic and white magic. That's... I know that. White specializes in healing support. Yep. Cure restores lots of HP. Life revives. Yeah, I know all that. Black magic on the hand uh, is offensive spells. Blizzard deals ice. Thunders deal lightning and so on. Characters can learn both black and white magic spells in any combination they choose. Okay, that's interesting. However, a character can only learn a maximum of 16 spells. Use the discard command to remove any spell the character has already learned. Discarded spells can be learned again, but their levels reset to 1. So discard with caution. Okay, okay. Hear about monsters, sure. There are many different types of monsters. Some monsters are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. The Indeed are weak against fire, and aquatic are weak against lightning. There are also monsters that absorb particular elements. Uh, well, casting fire on a monster made of flame will heal it instead of doing damage. That's good to know. You can damage zombies and under living dead with restorative magic. Okay. When using spells that steal HP or MP, such as Drain and Osmos, when used against the undead, these spells can backfire and hurt you instead. Okay, so that's that's a thing where healing undead hurts them. That's good to know. Treasure chests. Okay, what can you tell me about treasure chests? Can contain things like items in Jill. Many treasure chests are also rare items. Yep. If you're lucky enough to come across, hold on to them, but treasure chests aren't all gill and glory by any means. Some chests conceal monsters. There's no way to know what's inside until you open it. Okay, so there's mimics. The flea command, sure. Is there any intricacies to the flea command that I need to know? Uh, I can also run by pressing the L and R button simultaneously. When it's time to give the first party member a command, there's no point in fighting and losing a battle. Uh, keep in mind that low agility can make escape impossible. Okay, so whoever has high agility should be the one running. Did I not already learn about weapons? There are seven weapon categories. Swords, spears, axes, staves, knives, bows, and are unarmed. Swords, spears, axes, staves, knives are all one-handed weapon. can be equipped along with a shield. It's also to equip uh, two one-handed weapons, one in each hand. Equipping a bow requires two free hands. That makes sense. It allows a character to attack from the rear row of the party formation. I don't know what that means. Fighting unarmed is another splendid choice that can be as powerful as any weapon. Fortunately, equipping a shield cuts an unarmed combatant's attack power in half. So if you plan to fight unarmed, it's probably wise to just skip shields altogether. About the information displayed on the status screen, sure. Develop attributes, okay. I'm guessing this is all pretty straightforward, but just in case there's something a little screwy, I want to learn about it. Strength and magic will change accordingly to the actions you take in battle. If a character attacks, his or her strength and weapon may improve. If a character using magic, his or her spirit, intelligence, and magic level may improve. There are 11 different attributes that can change. Um, no, that's okay. I can look it up if I get confused. All right. So most of that was pretty much stuff I would have, um, I could have figured out on my own, but it's nice to, it's nice to learn that stuff just in case there is something that's a little weird. Who's this? Giga Finn, an arrow struck me in the back during the battle, leaving me in this state. Perhaps I really have grown old. My daughter Hilda now serves as regent. You should speak with her. Can I take this? Okay. All right. Uh, so, kind of curious. So it seems like there isn't really classes. It's more whatever items or whatever, whoever they're fighting in the battle. That's they tend to learn that. Okay, that's an interesting way to do levels. Nothing there. You know what? Our characters already have better hair than they did in the first game. So that's good. Who are you? You're in the rebel hideout in the town of Altair. Okay, that's good to know. Gordon, the Prince of Kashun, is hiding out here in Altair. 
I don't know what happened, but something has made him lose faith in himself. Maybe it was the arrow that went into his back. I assume that's the person he was talking to about. Princess Hilda fled here when Finn was sacked. She's doing a remarkable job of leading the rebel army while his majesty recovers. Okay. Uh, nothing down there. People gonna stay in my way again. Nothing here. Ooh, our first chest. Wouldn't be awkward if this was a mimic. Potion obtained, all right. Well, we're unstoppable now with a potion. Um, so how do I get out of here? Is I missing something in here? No, nope. maybe this guy has something to say. Heading to Finn, are we? It's not my place to tell you what to do, but I'd reconsider if I were you. It's a dangerous place to be. You see, the city is crawling with the Empire's monsters. To the north lies a small village called Katria. Judging by the look of you, you'd be lucky to make it that far. Before you go anywhere, I suggest you visit the room with the sigil that saved your life. There you'll find people who can teach you a thing or two about adventuring way ahead of you, guy. I think you're going to need all the advice they can spare. Is he calling me stupid? This is the Werewolf Army's War Room. Yep. Parrots. Uh, the port of Paloom lies not far east of here. But a lake separates, uh, separates us, so you won't be able to reach this town without a canoe. How do I learn that keyword? That looks like something I can learn, right? Maybe not. Nope, that doesn't do it. I'm going to be pressing that button a lot by mistake, I think. Okay, first puzzle. How do we leave this town? Uh... Hmm... <laughs> Let's see... A great question. I mean, it looks... Oh god, there's a door right there. How did I miss that? Who's this guy? I'm Paul, greatest thief in all the world. They've yet to invent the loot. I can't burgle or, burgle or steal. The Imperial Clovers have kept my purse fat with gill lately. Uh, ask about the Wild Rose. I never steal from the rebels, you can be sure of that. My hope was in Finn too. I can't even go home now that the Emperor has occupied the city. Okay. I, I can't imagine a good thief tells people about how good of a thief he is. That seems like Thief 101 is to not do that. This is the town of Altair. The Imperial forces have been deployed this far out yet. I suppose it's only a matter of time though. I can't wait for these games to start uh, with the uh, voice acting so I can find out how badly I'm mispronouncing all these names. That'll be great. So this... Hold on, what was the symbol on this? Is that a shield or a heart? I think it's a shield, so I'm guessing this guy sells armor. Indeed he does. Oh, we have some money to buy. Should I buy some stuff? Oh, oh my god, the arrow's telling me what's good and what's bad. That's so helpful. Okay, uh, we have one of those already. We have some clothes. Okay. Could buy some gloves, but let's not worry about items just yet. It's, uh, so there's a shield store. There's an inn. Okay, so far things seem familiar from the first game. The item shop there. Only nine games before voice acting. Nine games, really? Was there no voice acting in Final Fantasy VII? I don't remember. I guess there wasn't, was there? Only nine games. <laughs> okay, so I've got nine games to, to uh, burn into my mind the mispronunciation of all these names. That'll be great. So this is white magic, right? Or this is black magic. Yeah, this is black magic. I don't know, I feel like... Oh god, I'm gonna be pressing this button, the wrong button this whole time, aren't I? Uh... Let's see. Final Fantasy X is the first. Interesting, I did not know that. Yeah, now that I'm thinking of it, Final Fantasy VII is really the only one I've played. Uh, at least the earlier ones. And yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, there is no voice acting. 
I would have guessed, I would have thought Final Fantasy like 9 or 8 would have had it, but no, that's crazy. Okay, Final Fantasy 10 it is. Well, we'll see what we get there. Um, what kind of equipment do people... Okay, so she's got a bow, so we'll keep her as like the um, range specialist, I guess. And this guy is an axe. Okay. And this guy is a sword. So we have a warrior, we have... Interesting. Okay. I don't know how important the bow is going to be. Uh, there's weapons there. We don't need weapons. Oh, we're leaving town. Okay. I think they said north was where the first town was. And we're in our first real battle, so let's see how this goes. Uh, you fight him. You do this. You kill this one. I, I guess we'll find out how strong these guys are. Oh, nice. All right. Already things feel smoother. I'm liking the... There's a bit of a landscape that we can see. This is already looking uh, much nicer. But I don't, I'm wondering how much of that is just the uh, upgraded uh, visuals that the Game Boy Advance version has. Okay. Ah, uh, goblins. Bring it on, goblins. Miss! Oh no. Oh no. There you go, good hit. Alright, these goblins suck just as much as we do. Boom. Okay. And I like how we just run off screen. Aaron's shield and sword increased, his agility, her bow increased. Okay, this is interesting. So, wait, I wanted to check. So it doesn't look like we actually have any levels. It's just whether or not our items increase. Am I wrong about that? Yeah, that's how it looks. I don't see, like, um... Oh, there's the skill level, so it tells you each weapon how the skill level is. So that's how we uh, level up, I guess. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, just trying to look and see what other kind of information I can glean from this. Accuracy. Okay, defense to evasion. Magic defense. Oh boy, finally a magic defense stat. Hopefully those stats actually do stuff and just aren't there just for show, like <laughs> some of the stuff in the first game. Alright, 4v3. I think we got this. Oh, two hits already! Oh my god. Looks kind of looks like she's holding her bow backwards. Oh my god, and the, the sounds and stuff are already like way better. So is this the little town the guy was talking about? Katria, yes it is. Okay, let's see what we can find here. Uh, this looks like a little person that can help us out. This is the village of Katria. Finn is just over there across the lake, see? And Finn's the other town. Okay, not a person. Finn is not a person. Finn is a town. I guess this is just kind of like a rest stop. But who's this guy? He looks important. The Imperial, for the Imperial forces have occupied Castle Finn. The gates are drawn and no one can enter. And with Imperial troops and monsters roaming the streets, the city isn't any better off. Okay. Uh, what's this? Oh, there's that classic music. Nothing happens. Okay. I guess we'll leave. Looks like some kind of church. Oh, I can't interact with the well. Oh, that's such a downgrade from the first game. Oh, oh man, what were the developers thinking? That was the best part. Interacting with the wells. I can't do that anymore. All right, already the overworld seems a little more intricate. The hell is that? What was that? <laughs> what was that? Man, this, I wonder how, how much easier is this gonna be, gonna be if we get a flying ship right off the start? Where did that thing go? Oh, up there. 
I see the castle north of us. Uh, interesting. So I'm wondering... Oh, is he poisoned? He is poisoned. So they mentioned something about attacking the front and back, so I'm wondering if... If I use my melee people to attack the back lines, if that if they have like a disadvantage on that, or maybe it just doesn't let you. So uh, let's see how poison works in this game. Twenty-two. Does it go down at all? It doesn't go down outside of combat, and actually, it doesn't look like he's still poisoned. Is there any way to tell if he is? No, does maybe he's not poisoned anymore. Uh, oh, I should be going north, shouldn't I? Oh, we got ambushed, and we took 206 damage and 314 damage. Uh, I forgot, did you select all actions before the party attacked in Final Fantasy 1? Yes. Yes, you did. So far, the combat is uh, pretty much the same. The only difference being it's easier to navigate with the uh, D-pad. Um, okay, well this is... game over. <laughs> Alright, don't go into that forest, good to know. Um, did, that, did our game even save it all? I don't think our game did. This isn't my save, okay! <laughs> God, I guess, I guess new game. <laughs> Alright, let's just pretend the last 30 minutes or so never happened, I guess. Is that... <laughs> oh my god, can I... I can skip this. Okay, that's good. Alright, maybe we can win this battle this time. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's rough. Let's try running. Oh, he's dead for sure. Oh, how does that uh, emote show up in the uh, text on stream? Oh, it just comes up as text. That's funny. Now there's a very thin invisible line where enemies ramp up going northwest. <laughs> I, I, I have, I have found that out the hard way. All right, we can uh, skip through all this text. And you know what? I don't need to go talk to the. Uh, the old people dancing in that house anymore, because I already learned everything. It's too bad they didn't warn me about the werewolves. Alright. So. Where am I? Right here. So who's missing? Maria and Guy are here, right? Ophirion, so Guy's missing. Oh no. Let's see, don't worry, I'm sure he's okay. Where Guy? So who's missing from the party then? Alright. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, we've spoken already, Hilda. Let's get a move on with it. Oh, learn, Wild Rose. I almost forgot. Let's ask about it. Oops. Okay. Let's... Or did I need to ask this guy some stuff? No, maybe not. All right. Oh. Leon. Leon's the one that's missing. Thank you, Josh. 
So did this, did he, oh my god, I'm gonna keep pressing that button. Virion. Oh, guy, okay. Get our potion and we can leave this place. I don't think there was anything else here that I obtained. Okay. Uh, oh wait, I wonder how, oh, there's a safe here, okay. Uh, you know what, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep this here. <laughs> I'm sure whoever owned this cartridge before me would appreciate that. So we've saved our game, we've learned how to save. That's good to know. Uh, I need to leave this town. Oh, maybe I can interact with this. Nope. Alright. Oops. Oh man. So we'll go north to that town again. Oh! A leg eater? Uh oh. This is, must be what happened to those. Um. Oh my god, what are they called? Mermaids in the first game. They got their legs eaten. Ooh, miss. Ooh, miss. Escaped. Chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um... Tain nine gill. Okay, so there's no... It doesn't seem like it tells you how much experience you're gaining. Guess you attack this one? Okay, and I've noticed po poison doesn't last, last through battle, so I like that change, but I know at some point they're going to switch it back to the thing that I don't like, <laughs> which is permanent status effects on your characters until you find a way to cure it. What is this little patch over here? Is it just different grass? I guess so. Alright. Alright. Only five damage with your bow. It's not very good. Sure, I need to do this one. Alright. Man's agility increased, so it doesn't all happen at once either. Oh boy. Alright, kill some hornets. Well, well, maybe not. Can't hit them. Ooh, it's hurt. He's poisoned. That's fine. We're gonna go to the town. We're gonna go to the inn. Alright. Good, good. His bow level increased. Interesting. Okay, here we are in town. Let's find out where that inn is. There it is. Now, how much are they gonna charge us for staying here? Welcome, please come in. It will cost eight gil. Oh, that's cheap. That's really, really, uh, that's a good price. I'm gonna remember this town. And I'm going to bring it up every time another town tries to charge me more for a night's sleep. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's a cutscene that just brings us out here. All right. Let's save. Yes. Okay. Uh, what does config do? Oh, here we go. B button to dash. That price is deceptive? Oh no. The rest of the town's gonna be like a thousand gold. Uh, window color, bestiary, message speed. It's at three already. That's a good speed, I think. Cursor default or memory. B button to dash. 
always dash while moving. I'm gonna s okay, so there is a dash. Oh, we can change our window color as well. I like this. The classic blue is nice. Oh my god, there is a dash. Look at us go. We're speedy. Uh, I don't want you to get blindsided. They charge you how much health and MP are replenished. Ah, okay. Good to know. That's an interesting way to do it. Okay, so... Is it just going left this way that causes things to get super strong, or is it when I went down? Okay, it looks like going down was not the way to go. So instead we'll try to get back to the town. Okay, I kind of like that better than, uh, than the fixed prices. It definitely felt like in the first game, the first half of the game, it felt like I was just struggling with gold. But by the end, I had more gold than I knew what to do with. So we'll see how the economy uh, works in this one. Got sword and shield increase. Oh boy, everybody's getting stronger. Okay, so I can't sprint outside of combat. Only in, or outside um, the uh, world's area. Only in towns, it looks like. Ooh, big hit. All right. Well, that was easy. We made it to uh, castle already. So what happens if he tries to attack one in the back line? He still can, but maybe that's because the one in front of that one was dead? I'm not sure. Okay, just going to town. Oh, so we're already in Finn. It's just as we've heard, the city is crawling with Imperial soldiers. Well, we have to be careful. Make sure not to get too close. Understood. We'll keep that guy a wide berth. Oh, he's guarding the inn. That's not very nice. They're not guarding the weapon shop for some reason. <laughs> oh. Hello? Is there a bell I can ring for some service here? Maybe I can just take some stuff off the walls. Hmm, that's no good. Okay, I guess maybe we'll have to free this town before we're able to uh, do anything in here. I think the first two rows are considered frontline, third one is on the back row. Okay. Okay, well, I'll have to uh, keep that in mind then. Uh, okay. So it wouldn't let me go to the castle, so maybe I just have to uh, explore in here. I'll have to remember this B button. Oh, we're fighting stuff. That's weird. In town. Okay, 13 Jill. Let's see what's in here. Is there nobody gonna be in here as well? Seems like it. Nothing to interact with. Okay, I guess we'll leave here. There's Okay, we're fighting in town. I didn't expect this. I don't want to get my legs eaten, so let's get rid of these things. Hornets are fine, they're just, they're a little big for hornets, so that does make them a little more terrifying, but I will deal with them. All right. A lot of increases there. Uh, I mean, what happens if I try to talk to you? Rebel curs. Uh, is he just gonna like instantly kill me? Is that what's gonna happen? Yes, okay, that was a mistake. Okay. <laughs> Fleet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, okay, well, that's game over. It's fine, <laughs> we're learning still. Uh, let's 
just back in this town, eh? That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Things are... We will learn things. Just depends how fast we learn them. That, I can't promise how fast I'll learn things. But so far, the rest of the experience of this game seems a lot smoother. I'm wondering how much of that is the uh, upgraded version that I'm playing. Maybe I'll, I'll look up after the stream, I'll take a look at what the original version looked like. So I can appreciate. I've been playing the NES version and I'm not sure I'm enjoying it. Uh oh. That's not good. see here. Okay, so let's not talk to these guards. So far it looks like the NES version is way easier. Or your version is easier, sorry. Yes. I was gonna say, things seem a lot, um, well, I say forgiving. At least the, uh, the actual fights we're getting into. And I'm wondering how much, um, more streamlined things are. The first game had a lot of waiting for text and stuff. Uh... Okay. Oh, there's a pub there. Can we get to the pub? Or maybe there's somebody in this... in this uh, place. NES is not so fun in my opinion. Oh, that's too bad. I'm kind of glad I'm playing this one, then. I'd heard the uh, Game Boy versions were really well done, so... That's part of the reason why I opted for them, and also I, I kind of wanted to um, have all the physical versions of them, rather than playing emulators. And I wasn't planning on buying an NES just to play a couple of games. Okay, so there's a wall here we need to get around. And that guy's in the way. Is this just gonna... Okay, we can go around this way. It doesn't immediately kick us out. We've been ambushed. Oh no. Alright, silly goblins. I think you can take on us? I don't know, I guess we're just... Man, the first game, we're the Warriors of Light from the very beginning. This game, we're just... I don't know, orphans, I guess. Oh boy. Um... That looks like someone who's a little friendly. Hello? Whoa, where do you think you're going? Customers aren't allowed behind the counter. There's Imperials, or is... Ill-bred as they come. Okay, can I ask him about- Ooh, ah, you're with the rebels. You'll find a secret door in this wall. There's a wounded soldier back there. Go see if you can help him. Oh, hmm, now what am I gonna do? I've had it with this place. You guys can take it from here. Don't let us down. What, are you just leaving me in charge of this bar? Where was the secret wall he was talking about? Secret... Secret anywhere? Okay. Uh, is it out here somewhere? Maybe in the back of this building that I have to go into? Can I just save anywhere? Oh, I guess I can. That's good to know. I'll have to remember that. Oops. Escaped chicken. Uh, 
Okay. How do I... Interesting. Can I sneak by you? No. Leg eaters. Oh no. Been a while though. I thought I was just where he was standing. Been a while though. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. Maybe I just am dumb and miss something in the uh, in the bar there or the pub. All right, leg eater. You know what, I don't hold it against the leg eaters. Maybe they're just upset that they don't have legs. And they're taking it on us. But if we talk to them, and we uh, have a respectful conversation, maybe we can come to an understanding with each other. All right, let's try. Oh, it's in the, the wall there, Jesus. All right. Get used to <laughs> pulling your hair out watching me play this. <laughs> Missing the most obvious things. Okay, we got a potion. Another potion. Hope that this isn't a mimic. And another potion. All right, are you all right? Are you going to turn me over to the Empire? At least have the decency to kill me first. I don't want them to take me alive. Calm down, buddy. Wild, wild Rose. So, you're rebel soldiers, are you? My name is Scott. I am Prince of Kashuan. Kashuan? Kashuan? Prince Scott, we were told you fell in the battle. Thank goodness you're all still alive. I am, but not, not for much longer. I'm afraid I must ask a favor of you. There's something you must tell my brother, Gordon. Tell him I know he has great strength. He must learn to have more faith in, in himself. I also have a message for the king. Tell him the reason Finn, Finn fell so quickly is that Count Borgen betrayed us. He's been made a general in the Imperial Army. There's one more thing. Tell Hilda, tell Hilda that I love her. No, don't deliver that last message. The confession of a dying man, they would only bring her pain. Oh man. My, my brother Leon, have you heard of him? Uh, man, this guy is pouring his heart and soul out to the to us in his last dying breath and all Maria can think of is her. <laughs> I guess she's considered concerned about her brother. But still. I'm sorry, but I have not. I wish I could be of more help. Well, you're useless, aren't you? Here, take my ring. I'm sure it will be of use. Maybe it's all this talking, but I've grown extremely tired. You'll excuse me, I just need to rest for a little while. Okay, well he's dead. Well, that's no good. Uh-oh. Poor Prince. We got his ring and we got a nice cheery melody for it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. We can sit in bed there. That's cool. Okay, so we got his ring. Let's go tell the princess that he loved her. Or we'll tell him, tell her that the prince loves her. And she'll be thankful for us telling her that. And then we'll tell her that he's dead. Is that, is that the right order to do those things? Oh hi, first time here, how's life? Uh, and Normonica. Nice to see you, welcome in. Life's pretty good. Enjoying uh, Final Fantasy. Not sure I can ask for much else. Interesting, so yeah, it doesn't look like I can attack the back line, even though she has a bow. So... This is the party to view the world map. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just stick with the front line then. Yeah, welcome in. It's nice to nice see a new people. Uh, let's see. So now that those two in the front are dead, that I can access the back line here. Okay. All right. 
Easy fight. Sword and shield level increased. I guess we're just heading back to uh, first town there. Let's save. Is that direct capture from the GBA? I haven't seen a flickering emulator. No, so this is, the way I'm playing this, is the Game Boy Advance player for the GameCube. So I'm capturing my GameCube screen. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's, that's all I'm doing. So it should basically look exactly how the Game Boy Advance version does. I've never, I haven't heard of any uh, emulation errors with the Game Boy Advance player and GameCube, so it should be identical to the Game Boy Advance version. Yeah. It's, uh... One of the best things I think I've bought is the Game Boy player for the GameCube. It's pretty cool. I haven't used it as much as I'd... Um... As I hope I had, but... Most of these first, um... Couple of Final Fantasy games, I will be playing the Game Boy Advance versions, I think, so... I should get some good use out of it. Boy, these fights are very frequent. But they're pretty easy and they go by fast, so that's nice. Hmm. Escaped Chicken Goblin. Oh, that's a big hit. All right, let's go talk to this princess and show her this ring. Hopefully we'll get to keep it. Oh my god, this one goblin thinks he can take us on? I don't think so. Jeez. Uh, let's just go straight back to town. We can rest at the inn there. Oh man, everything is so much slicker and uh, faster than the first game. It's nice. Alright. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Yes, okay. Pretty sure this is the town I started in. Ooh, big hit. Guy is, uh, he's a little hurt, isn't he? I didn't notice. Should probably pay more attention to that. Alright. Altair? Uh, where was the inn here? There was an inn, right? Is it... There, no, it's the magic shop. Where is the inn? Oh, there it is, jeez. Okay. Let's get ourselves some rest. Cost 22, oh my god, the last place charged 8, come on. And you know what, that person looks identical to the person that owned the other inn. Mm, I wonder if they've got a monopoly going on on inns here. That's not good. It's not a healthy business. It's not healthy to have no competition there. Uh, where? It was this place right here, wasn't it? This was the secret base, right? Yeah. Alright, Princess. Or actually, I wanted to see... Uh, a mentor of Scott allows the party to view the world map. How do I use it? Use. And it doesn't let me use it. All well, that didn't do anything anyways. What's up, Princess? Our password is Wild Rose. Remember it well. Uh, ooh. I I'm learning. Look, I, I know how the mechanics work. That ring belonged to Scott. Is he, is he alive? He gave us this ring in Finn just before he lost the last of his strength. That's a nice way to put it, I suppose. Did he, did he say anything? 
Should I tell her? Oh, come on, tell her. Your Highness, please, the ring belongs with you. No, keep it. It suits men of courage. You infiltrated Finn and returned to tell the tale. You've proven yourselves quite capable. It would seem I underestimated your strength. I would have I would have you lend that strength to our cause. There is a magical metal known as Mithril, and we need strong warriors if we are to attain it. Let's learn about Mithril. Let's ask about Mithril. We we lost Finn because we were ill-equipped. The Empire fought with weapons and armor made of Mithril. I have charged Joseph, a man living in Salamand, with the task of finding the source of Mithril. I do not know to the cause, but we've been out of contact with him for some time. Would you go with Minwu to Salamand to look into this? Uh, sure. I guess, yeah, we are. All right, Minwu, you coming with me? I heard my lady's words and have waited here for you since. To reach Salaman, we must first pass through the port town of Paloon. Take my canoe and let us be in our way. All right, we got a canoe already. Min Wu, I love his name. Min Wu. And we got a canoe. How, how amazing is that? All right, let's portage our way to the next town. I forget the direction they told us to go. But we are capable adventurers. I'm sure if we wander around enough, we'll figure it out on our own. All right, uh, let's... I'm just gonna... Save frequently is my plan. Oh my god, Min Wu. Jesus, he looks strong. Um, now the question is... There is a formation to do, but that's fine. I'll keep it like this. Status. Okay. There isn't like a journal or anything, so I probably should have been paying more attention. But from the first game, I know how canoes work. Which means we can go across these rivers now. Um, I'm guessing Minwu is a temporary party member. I could be wrong. Maybe we'll find out that uh, uh, Maria's brother is dead and Minwoo stays in the party. Maybe that's how this is going to turn out. I hope that's not the case. I would like for her brother to be alive. But also, on the other hand, Minwoo is pretty cool. Hopefully this is where I'm going. Ooh. All right. Yeah, you bash him with that stick. No, you're right, he's just temporary. Yeah, I kind of figured. He seems kind of powerful. <laughs> Strangely powerful enough that he probably could have gone to Finn and done what we did. I'm surprised he didn't. Um, okay, so that's not the direction. A sprinter. Looks kind of depressed, this sprinter. Well, that's a strong thing, too. It's got high defense. Okay, here we go. There's the town. That was easy. Oh my god, and there's a boat there waiting for us. Can I not get into town? I, I was hoping I could just steal that boat. Uh, you just punch this guy, I don't know. Alright, good hits. Well done, everybody. 130 gil for that, that's pretty good. Oh, Paloom, there we go, this is it. You folks wouldn't be looking to book a passage on a ship, would ye? For just 32 gil, we'll see you safely to port. No. Not yet, at least. But just put that in the back burner and later. Oh, so if... I guess I don't need to worry about uh, wasting money on not um, not being too hurt. 
because the how much it costs is just how much I am missing. What am I trying to say? I can basically just rest whenever I want because I'm not going to waste gold on only one HP. That's what I'm trying to say. A lot of pirates in this town. Yeah, we do have some gold. Maybe we can uh, upgrade our weapons a little bit. That's like the best part of this game, right? So he has an axe already, so a mace. A metal tip staff. He has a bow. Okay, never mind. Those are basically items we already have. Uh, it's weird they charge you based on how much you need to rest. Yeah, I kind of like it though. It's a weird business model for sure, but I'm not going to complain about it. <laughs> That's how they want to do business, I'm fine with that. Mandatory hydration check. Oh, you know what? That's actually really helpful. Thank you. I did. I always bring water to these and then I forget to take it. And then the stream ends and I've got a full glass of water. Thank you. Anar Monica? I hope I'm saying that right. If I'm not, please do correct me. Looks like I can interact with this, but I guess that's just the uh, the flame flickering. So what kind of spells can we? A cure tome restores HP. Are these just tomes that get used once, or are these permanent? Oh, they must be permanent, right? It's all good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of weird that uh, I don't know how the um, good enough pronunciation. All the <laughs> good enough. Okay, I'll take that. It's kind of weird that some of the um, oh my god, what's the word I'm looking for? Emojis, I guess. Some of them show up in my chat thing, but some of them don't work. I have no idea what causes that. Anyways, let's get a cure tome. Oh, don't need eleven. Just, just, just get one. Here's an evasion. We'll just get a cure tome. So how does this work? Let's see. Uh, unless it's like a one-time use thing? Unless I do it through here. Who do I want to learn? I guess Furion is gonna be my tank kind of guy, right? Yeah. So if he's, um... Oh, you didn't buy any of the spells back in Altair? I did not. I probably should have. Well, that's because YouTube emojis are actually just text that YouTube turns into emojis, pretty much like Discord. Yeah, it's just in my... Like, in the chat on stream, I have a thing that puts the chat there, and some of the emojis... Oh, so the other ones are actually... Oh, you're... Okay, yeah, you're right. I see. You're right. Yeah. That makes more sense. Okay. It's just YouTube turning them into something. It's just YouTube-specific ones, I guess. Interesting. Um, so maybe we'll get him to learn a cure spell? No? Uh... Maybe this is like a one-time use thing. Altair is the only place to get basic black magic spells. Okay, I... Well, we can go back there at some point, I'm sure. I was hoping I'd get my fourth party member, and he was going to be like my mage person. That was my plan, but... It's kind of got a little sidetracked. Um, what was our plan in this town? <laughs> Are we just here to, uh... To, uh, buy a port? By passage on a ship? I guess that's why we're here. I guess we'll do that. Uh, oh, it was that person. Folks wouldn't be looking to book a passage. Sure. Let's go. Done. Just board the ship in front of the town and off you go. Are you coming with, or are we just, like, renting the ship out? Okay, uh, we're, we're just passengers on this ship. I'm definitely not controlling this. Okay, we made it to Poft. What do you know about Poft? 
This is the port of Poft. Salaman is to the north, and to our east is Basque. Okay, north. I think Salamand was where we were headed, right? No, I don't need a ship. There's a pub there, so what's the difference between a pub and an inn in this place? Why are there so many twins in here? Uh, Bas Basque? It's the city of our east is under the control of the Empire. They're building something terrible there. Oh, that's where they're building the uh, Dreadnought, I think. If I'm remembering that right. Okay, you're saying the same thing. You are... Are these all just, like, clones? <laughs> what's going on? Oh my god, here we go. Somebody looks a little different. Can you tell me what's going on here? Sid! You're gonna ride the airship? You've got the cash. There's no place I can't take you. Sid, is this... Sid is the same name as a character from Final Fantasy VII, isn't it? Let's learn about an airship. And let's ask him about the airship. You pay the guy behind me. Let's ask him about, what if I say Wild Rose? Do I maybe get a discount? He doesn't know what that means. He's looking at me like I'm crazy. Let's ask him about Mithril. He doesn't know anything about Mithril. Sid, you don't know anything. All right. I don't need your airship just yet. I thought that was funny too. Yeah, it's a lot of <laughs> clones just in that pub. It's weird. Maybe they're all uh, brothers and sisters. They all just like wearing their same clothes as well. Do you know, are you looking for Sid? He's just probably over in the pub. We'll get you a ride on the airship of his. Well, let's just go north and see what we can get. Sid is in all of the Final Fantasies except for the first one, I think. Oh, interesting. I'll have to look out for that. Ooh, this guy looks strong. Am I going to be able to beat him or should I be running? Okay, we do do damage to him. Okay, so he doesn't one-shot me. Although, Minwoo is kind of strong. Except for Final Fantasy XV, where it's Sydney. Okay. I was gonna say, that's like... The only ones I've played are 7, Zodiac Age, and 15. And I don't remember in Zodiac Age or 15, Sid. But if it was Sydney in 15, that makes sense. And then I guess I'm just dumb and don't remember uh, Zodiac Age very well. Oh, we found an item. Uh, he doesn't appear in the original version of Final Fantasy 1, but he is alluded to in most other versions of the game as a retcon. Okay. That's interesting. Take all. Sid. I would have never guessed of all the character names that I know of from Final Fantasy, Sid would not be the one that I would expect to appear in all of them. Okay, we're fighting Sasquatch, the legendary monster Sasquatch. We found him. Alright. One Sasquatch down, two down, and three, definitely. It seems like Guy is our big damage dealer. And I have a feeling Maria with her bow is going to be really useful as well. I have a feeling the bow is going to be useful. Although I said the same thing about the thief in the first game, and that didn't turn out very well. He's always the engineer, more or less, I think. Okay. That's vaguely how I remember him in Final Fantasy VII. He just shot a bow at me, that jerk. Miss. Guy, my guy, you're supposed to be the strong one. Maybe I should heal Guy. Bro, did not choose Thief in Final Fantasy 1, poor soul. I did choose Thief in <laughs> I found out much, much later into my playthrough that Thief is considered by far the worst class in that game. But I, I still beat it. Even with that disadvantage. Oh, another airship. There's Sid, there goes Sid. Someone must have paid for that. So she has the bow. I thought the bow meant that I could attack the back line, but I guess not. 
Yeah, the first game, many a times, it came down to the warrior being the only person alive, carrying everybody else on his back through the adventure. That's pretty much how it went. People make Final Fantasy 1 challenge runs with all white mages and... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ain't seen one with all thieves yet. Wow. It's... I think that speaks volumes when people do it with all white mages, but don't do it with thieves. Is this the same town I was just in? No, it's not, right? Bass. Okay, I wasn't trying to go here, but we made it here, so that's interesting. Oh, this place is overrun by Imperials, though, isn't it? This is dangerous. Yeah, the thief was... It was just a worse warrior in every single way you could imagine. They hit less, they did less damage, they had less defense, they had less health, there was less items available for them to use. There was nothing positive about the thief. <laughs> okay. A nice rest, and we'll do a quick save as well. Oh, that guy looks like a mean knight, doesn't he? He's got like red eyes and... Ooh, he looks scary. How does this guy know about him? He's not, he doesn't want to talk. To be fair, I chose it in my first ever run of the game. Yeah, it's kind of like the default. I didn't expect it to be so useless. <laughs> But uh, after hearing some people, it seems like the uh, the monk would have been a way cooler choice. But I'll excuse myself saying I came from Final Fantasy X and thought the thief actually... <clears throat> uh, YK stole. I don't know what YK means. I'm sorry. I'm not down on the lingo. But I understand what you're saying. Final Fantasy X, the thief was good. I'll remember that and I will... I'll pick myself a Final Fantasy X thief up. All right, we've got new weapons here. Longbow, ooh, sure, let's buy a longbow. And let's buy a long sword for first guy as well. You know, you like equals you know. Okay, good to know, thank you. Probably could have figured that out, but I'm dumb and I didn't. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh. So let's equip some stuff. So he's using a broadsword. So let's put the longsword there. 11 to 16. Oh, this is so much nicer than the first game. I don't have to do all the stat checking and stuff. It just kind of shows it for me. How good is this uh, longbow? Double the damage. Nice. We'll keep him with his axe. So the thief doesn't steal in the 10? Interesting. Because it doesn't... Is Zodiac Age 11 or 12? Zodiac Age must be 12, because Final Fantasy 11 is the MMO. And yeah, so in 12, the thief, or thief, whatever they call it in that game, the classes are weird in that game, the thief has some stealing abilities. I, I need to learn how these tomes work. Does this guy tell me? Cell exit. Uh, how do I use this? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I want him to learn this, I guess. Sure. Okay, he learned cure. And it does use that up. Okay. Oh, you know what I should do, though? Let's uh, sell this. Tenjil, come on. 50, that's better. I think Inar was saying that they were used to the thief being able to steal items. Oh, so, okay, so I'm guessing that uh, the thief does steal items in some of the other game, in the uh, previous ones. Um, I've only played 7, 12, and 15, so 7, there's no stealing that I can remember. 12, there's stealing, so... Somewhere between 7 and 12, there's more stealing before 10. I'll remember that. Um, oh boy. That's a lot of bees. That's uh, really a lot of bees. Why is... 
Why are hornets protecting a queen bee? That's not how those species work. Alright, you've got the big sword. You hit that one. This queen bee is gonna... dangerous. Are you never equipped to steel or mug materia? I did not. I'm guessing that from Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII, um... In five. It was introduced in five. Okay. I will say Final Fantasy VII, I did not use the materias very often at all. Don't know if Final Fantasy III has one. I haven't played that one yet. Yeah, Final Fantasy III's... So far, it's turning out to be the hardest one to obtain. Um, it's the only one that's not on... Game Boy Advance, so I'm, I might have to resort to an emulator for that game. Uh, I didn't really explore this town, did I? Final Fantasy VII does have stealing. Yeah, a lot of the materia stuff in that game I glossed over and didn't really use it at all. The only time I ended up using it was like the very end of the game where I was really weak <laughs> and I needed, I needed health and defense. That's, I think, the only time I sought out different materials and tried to actually min-max them. Which is not good. So hopefully I do a better job this next time I play through it. I'm scared to talk to these knights, because last time I did, they just beat me up. Maybe there isn't anything in this town. I think I'm supposed to go to the other town. But I should probably buy some armor. Uh, oh, a bronze shield. Oh, these things are pretty cheap, too. Bronze helm. Can I buy three of those? Should I buy three of those? Silver cuirass, bronze gloves, oh my god. Let's buy... Hmm. You're telling me you went through almost all the Final Fantasy VII without using materia. Um, most, yeah. For the most part. Um, <laughs> it was, <laughs> I realized after, after I'd gotten to the last boss and was getting my ass handed to me and I was looking, I, I ended up looking up like, am I doing something wrong? And it turns out, yes, the materials were a lot more powerful than I had ever given them credit for. And once I quit with materials, I like doubled my defense and my health and all that. So yeah, <laughs> it was, it was, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll do a better job this next time I play through it, for sure. Luckily, the first time I played through it, that's not recorded anywhere. <laughs> Certified pro gamer. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that makes me a pro gamer or the opposite of a pro gamer. <laughs> Let's get three of these. I'm sure that'll give me a lot of defense. And can I buy three of these as well? Sure, why not? Let's use up all our gold. It's impressive. <laughs> is it like I'm pretty sure because there's he like I used I uh, some healy ones I like there's the spell ones right it was just all the other ones I just never bothered with all the um, stat ups ones and stuff like that uh, like I didn't ignore it completely I just didn't really pay any attention to it uh what was I doing oh yeah we're we're equipping some new uh well, let's just do optimal did that work? Yeah, it did. Okay. Ron Selson. Look at that. Oh my god, the optimal button. That's amazing. And now you can save as well. Or right, let's go rest at the inn and then we'll save. And then I think I have to go to the other town. I don't think I'm supposed to be at this town just yet. I'm scared of this dude in the center though. Maybe I'll, I'll rest, I'll save, and then I'll talk to the dude there. And we'll see uh, whether or not he just crushes us into the ground. Save. Alright, big scary man, what have you got to say for yourself? Dark Knight, what are you doing just standing around? Move, you're the one just standing around. Hey, he didn't kill us. It's got a creepy portrait, though. You want to say anything to me? No, he doesn't want to say anything. You don't want to say anything either. Okay. 
This is the first area I personally got stuck. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you want a hint, let me know. Um, no, I don't need a hint just yet. I, I think there's another uh, town I can get to, and then I'll just go from there. Worst case scenario, we get some... Uh, we get some XP uh, uh, leveling up and stuff, which is never a bad thing. And I guess with our armor equipped now, now we level up our armor. I think that's how that works. Oh, I've got some eye drops too. That'll be good for somebody. Okay, so there's something going on there. A cave. I don't know how that works. I think they said the other town was to the north, right? Alright. I really do like how much faster these battles get done over the first game. I think they said north, right? Ooh, Goblin Guard. Spooky. You've got a big sword, so you hit that one, you do that one, and you do this one. Easy. Da, da, da. Well done, everybody. I don't think you level armor, just the shield. Okay, it's just... okay. I, I, I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, let's see. Skill level... yeah, it's just weapons. You're right, shield does have the uh, upgrade, though. Okay. That's fine. Uh, maybe not north? Oh boy. Oh, and you know what else? I think I read that this game, if your character is trying to attack a, an enemy that's already been killed, I think it automatically switches to something else, which is so nice to have that. That was one of the most frustrating things from the first game. Oh, we need to go first. So if I just have everybody hit this one, it should... I'm going to test this. Out. Yeah, it automatically switches to the next monster available. Okay. Good to know. I found the encounter rate to be a bit intense. Yes, I've, I've noticed that, but it's honestly going by faster than the first game was. Going from town to town, even though there's more encounters, they take, they go by way quicker. Um, what did you have to say? This is the port popped. Salam is to the north and to our east is Bath. Salam. That's where we need to go. North, 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 north. Thought I was north. Maybe I wasn't north enough. Take that. And that. Well done, Minwoo. Get a potion. So north. Maybe we can't go north yet. Maybe we do need to go to the other town. Maybe there's something there I missed. Ow. Oh, he did zero damage. That's nice. In this version, the NES version has all the pains of the first one. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> that, yes, that's right. That was one of the things that I read about the upgrade was that it automatically switches characters. Uh, I guess I can just do this. This is so much easier, these battles. Ooh. That was a big hit. I, after having hearing you say that, I am glad that I've left the NES version behind. It would be really nice to experience these games as they all were originally, but that's kind of difficult in North America without, um, like I don't think the second one was ever released. There was no English version on the NES. I think there's like some fan translations. I could be wrong about that. Oh boy, we're wow, we've gone to a whole other dimension, it feels like. It's snowy here. Do we think we can save at the inn? Yeah, this is the same they're all twins. All the people that own the inns, they're all twins. 
They have a monopoly on this. I don't like that. Their prices are fair so far. But monopolies, they get complacent and they abuse their power. And that's going to happen, I feel like. Is this where I find out that all the weapons I bought are about to be useless? Oh no. Ooh, a battle axe. Yeah, let's get my boy a battle axe. I will equip that guy. Oh, oh he can have t two in each hand? Oh my god, that's amazing. That's so cool. Definitely doing that. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, so we can sell this. We can sell our clothes. And we can sell this buckler. I don't want to sell our canoe, though. All right. Thank you, shopkeeper. Pleasure doing business with you. Guessing uh, nothing really new here. Oh, God. Ron's gloves. Yeah, that's fine. We're, we're, we're good enough. Ooh, wow, I want to know how this works. What's that? Something gonna happen in this town? You've created a barbarian, have I? This, oh my god, I'm... I, I thought I had gotten better at not hitting that button, but I'm not. Oops. Is it like an official barbarian, or is it just that's what people call it? I don't know. I'm sure I'll find out later. Uh... The dual wielding axe, yeah, okay. I mean, that's the coolest thing I can think of is dual wielding axes. Ooh, revive a KO'd ally, that's really nice. I don't have any money though for this stuff. Uh. Oh, I'm gonna need to get that, aren't I? Oh my god, that's gonna be so helpful to have that like right off the start. All right, there's gotta be somebody in this town that knows something. Nothing happens. I guess our belief in God isn't strong enough. I don't mean anything, we'll just know. I didn't know you could dual wield weapons. I'm just curious how it works. Yeah, I didn't know I could either. Well, they kind of mentioned it in the uh, tutorial. Those old dudes were telling me at the start, but I, I don't remember. I thought they said something about two handed weapons, and I thought an axe was a two hander, but I guess not. Have you business with me? Let's ask about a wild rose. You're here for Lady Hilda, a little short on the tooth, aren't you? You kids can't fool me. But I know the password. What about Mithril? Mithril? I, I haven't found any yet. I, I, I do have a few leads, but... Oh, this is the guy that she had sent out that he hasn't responded to anything. I don't plan on sharing what I do know with a bunch of perfect strangers. I'm going to need you to do a little something to prove you are who you say you are. There's a bunch of people from Salamon who are being forced to work in the cave at Semit Falls. Rescue them and we'll talk. Alright, fine. Jerk, I just had a job to do, but if you're going to send me on errands before you help me out, then I guess I have no choice. Who are you? I love Joseph, but I know that when I'm around, I just get in his way. Oh, I don't think like that. I'm sure you help a lot. You need to be more confident in yourself. Okay, so we need to go to some cave somewhere. Maybe I should have asked him where the cave was. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, we haven't got to see the two axes. Garlic? What am I going to do with garlic? Uh, I, maybe I should go back and talk to him, just in case he's got a better direction for us on where to go. Oh no, vampire thorns. They're not doing any damage, but they are poisoning me. That's fine. So if the... What were those called? The leg thieves? The leg stealers? If, they, if they're upset because they don't have legs... Are vampire thorns upset because they don't they aren't vampires? 
Is that, is that the, uh... Oh, you know what? I can find out, can't I? Uh... Because we have a bestiary. Leg Eater. Let's learn about Leg Eaters. Oh, uh, I was hoping there'd be a... A little blurb about them, kind of like in Pokemon. Leg Eaters are very angry creatures. They're jealous of all creatures who have legs and will attack anything with legs on sight. That's the kind of thing I was hoping to hear about. I guess that's too much to ask. Alright, did he have any more info for us am I, or am I going to waste my time coming back to him? You have business with me? Infinity, but I don't plan. Uh, there's a bunch of people from Salomon who are being forced to work in the cave at Semit Falls. Ah, okay. I just gotta figure out where Semit Falls is then, I guess. You know where Semit Falls is? No, you're, you're not gonna tell me anything. You? Sem oh, here we go. <laughs> Semit Falls is beyond the mountain range on the south of Salomon. That's where the Emperor's been mining its mithril. What do I need this other guy for? If I know where the mithril is, and I'm going there to begin with, even without his help. Okay. I'm gonna assume that that area with the cave is Simbit Falls. That was behind the town that we were in before. I'm guessing that's where we need to go. Oh wow, so heat attacks literally twice then. That's really strong. Interesting. Oh, you know what I should be doing with him, though? In the NES, you can push B and select... Oh! Uh... B's not working. Uh... Because, yeah, you're right. I do... I, you have reminded me that I have this ring. A memento from Scott that allows the party to view the world map. Okay. What button is it for the world map? Doesn't let me use it. I'm pressing every button. None of the work. I might have to uh, do a quick Google. Uh, let's see. Final Fantasy 2. Open map. Press B and select to open the map. Okay. So Google says Google would never lie to me, right? Especially about Final Fantasy. B and select. What a weird. Maybe because B and. No, B and this, B and this. There it is, okay. B and Y on my GameCube controller. Uh, current position, fairy. Uh, purple, what's purple? Current position. Altair, is, okay, it's right there. So Salamand is... Oh, that's Salamand. Oh, Bas Basque is this place. And the gold dot is... What is the gold dot? Like, maybe that's my uh, next objective is the gold dot, I guess? You know what I'm guessing? I'm guessing we're going to have to go talk to Sid and he's going to have to fly us to that cave. That, that's our plan. That's my plan of attack as of right now. I'm sure when I talk to Sid and he asks for half a million gold for half a day's uh, rent on his ship, I'll have to figure out something else, but I'm sure Sid's a reasonable person. He will understand the importance of our journey and he can adjust his price to compensate for that. Yeah, Sid's in this pub, right? With all these twins. 
Get to ride the airship. Uh, oh, I, he told me to talk. Sid's underling. Can I interest you folks in a ride on Sid's Pride and Joy, the only airship of its kind in all the world? No matter how far, we'll have you uh, to your destination in the blink of an eye. Of course, the transportation of this fine caliber comes at a cost. Interested? I am interested. Where to? Selmet Falls. There it is, right there. Hehe, <laughs> thanks buddy. The airship will be waiting for you outside. Alright. I'm sure I nailed his voice. Oh, there it is right there. Ooh, cool. Look at this perspective change. This was not where I was expecting to be led to, but it is what it is. Uh, let's... Let's save here, because... How do I... They kind of just dropped us off and left us, didn't they? It's a little awkward. <laughs> okay, then. I don't like these walls moving. Oof. I should have probably healed before I came here. I'm sure we'll be fine. Right? How much harder could it be than the first game? Are these walls... Oh, is it supposed to be a torch on the wall? Is that what that is? Ooh, what's this? That looks like a save point, but it's not. Ooh, scary. Uh... Oh my god, he's got a bunch of stuff. Oh my god. Look at all these. Ugh. Does this protect everybody? No, it doesn't. I just attack. Your first dungeon? Good luck. Thank you, Onion. I will need all the luck I can get. Because skill will definitely not get me anywhere. Big hits from Guy. So I think what the... What I should do is give Guy two different weapons to dual wield. Right? Is that the best idea? Because then he levels both of them? That feels like... What I should be doing, but maybe not. Okay. Our first chest. In a dungeon. It should be able to cast on everybody. It didn't... It was giving me an option to pick who, so I'm guessing... Maybe there's another... I'm guessing there's another spell that does it on any everyone. Yeah, that one just picks. Attack, same thing. Oh, maybe shell? No. What's the difference between against special attacks, raising regular defense, raising magic defense? So I don't know what a special attack is. I don't know what the difference between barrier and wall is. Spell. Amnesia. Anyways, just you can just fight. We'll just beat these guys up. All spells have the option to be single or multi-target. Oh, really? Okay. I will have to figure out how that works then. Thank you for the info. Uh, let's see. 400 gil, I'll take it. So... Cure. Uh... It's a big cure. It's there. Oh, he's got Cure too. I forgot about that. What is this knight doing in this cave? He shouldn't be here. It's dangerous. Oh my god, Guy. Is Guy gonna be the stee of this run-through? I think he is. He's got the same uh, kind of shirt and everything. Alright, basement two it looks like. Ooh, we're in the water. Ooh. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how this works. Uh no. 
I don't know what that does. Oh. How did I do that? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, I figured it out. Yeah, I had no idea you could do all the necessary strong. <laughs> that's... I, I would have, I probably would not have ever figured that out if I didn't hit that optimize button, so I'm glad that optimize button was there. I'm guessing that's one of the things that wasn't in the original. Uh, let's go down this way, I guess. Don't like getting my, my shoes wet. How did you do it? To dual wield? I hit the optimize button, and I guess because I had two axes, it just equipped both of them. Because that's the strongest option. Maybe... Maybe the NES version doesn't have dual wield? I'm not sure. I, I really don't know how different the this version and the NES version are. High potion obtained from chest. Okay. Uh, I mean, how did you select multiple targets? And yes, you press right or left until it does it. Yes, I did. I pressed right or left, and that's what did it. I pressed every other button and then pressed right, and it uh, selected the correct thing. So what's going on here? We got four doors. Okay, not that door. Oof. Ooh, this is a, I don't remember this knight being so strong. Not strong enough for a guy, though. Okay, so not this door. I guess we'll try this door. Okay, so it is this door, but let's see if we can uh, explore a little more. Ha! Sasquatch can't even hurt me. Nothing there. Oh, come on. Ooh. These things are spooky. So maybe... Okay, I can do it on everybody. I'll keep that in mind. Oh no. Are these things going to be only weak? Okay, they don't have very much health. Oh, they're not... They, uh... They really don't mind axes, do they? Maybe I should have picked up some... <laughs> magic. Do you have anything that attacks? You don't, do you? Uh, well, we'll just do... Oh no. Oh no. Maybe we need to run from this fight. Uh, I think you have the highest agility, so you try fleeing. And you can try as well. Okay, they're not doing very much damage. He didn't flee. I'll just keep trying. There you go. It's dead, right? Yeah. Maybe we don't need to flee then. Ooh. Poison hurts though. No, come on. Oh. Oh. Oh no. This isn't good. I uh, just try fleeing again. We gotta be able to flee at some point, right? It said something about pressing L and R at the same time for fleeing. Oh. Okay, that was weird. 
Don't know how that works. Preemptive strike, okay. Three hits. That was easy. Minwoo's agility increase. Good job, Minwoo. Basement three. Ooh, chest. 200 gold. Gil. Jill. How do you pronounce it? Doesn't matter. It's money. Oh my god, Furion. The old man with a cane is out damaging you. Good job, everybody. This is going much smoother than the beginning dungeons in the first game, that's for sure. Is that another door? God, he does so much damage. What is with these empty rooms? Uh, you do this one, you can kill that one on your own, I think. Maybe? Yeah, you can. Alright. There's nothing in there, which is weird. More doors. Let's go get that chest, though. I don't like leaving chests behind. Even though I did on the second floor there. Alright, goblins. You should have... should have run while you could. Now you're in for a world of hurt. Alright. 250 gold. What else is here? Nothing. Just wasting my time. Oh, he's not allowed to do that. Only I'm allowed to use bows. Alright, I'm guessing the door appears to the next floor. Okay, only four gold from that thing. Oh yeah, it's one of these doors, right? It's not that one. Ooh. So I'm guessing every wrong door you go in is a forced fight you have to do. That's what it looks like. Okay, he'll kill that Sasquatch. Furion. Zero damage. Well done, Minwoo. Take those hits for a team. Alright. Everybody's kind of leveling up, I guess. That, that's how that works. Oh my god, an, an instant another fight. So... Oh no, let's try this then. All those trap rooms just have high encounter rates. Okay, just high encounter rate. Interesting run mechanic. I'm not 100% sure what the difference between doing that and fleeing is. Oh my god. You should be fine though. Well, unless Furion can't even... Oh, the Sasquatch. Ooh. Big miss there. Should be dead. Oh, the Sasquatch even should be dead there from that. Well done, everybody. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, let's get rid of this knight. Don't like that knight being there. 
Oh, these are goblin guards too. These are stronger goblins. Oh no. Stop bowing my team. Alright, easy. Well done, everybody. Last door's the charm. What's going on here? Help us, please! Is your name slave? Okay. Let's do some healing. There's no way to, uh... Oh good, I don't have to go back. No way to heal all in that map, it looks like. You look like the big boss. Oh, it's Paul! Is this our... I'm ever glad you're here. This is Joseph's daughter, Nellie. I think that dastard bargain's been holding her hostage to threaten Joseph. Uh-oh. Princess Hilda told me... told you to bring her some mithril, right? Well, that's normally where I step in. I figured out this was where the mithril was coming from easy enough, so I thought I'd get the dump on you guys and nab the mithril before you could get here. Only I messed up and got caught. Me, of all people. Well, I know when I'm in over my head so long, but don't worry, I'll take everyone here with me. Thanks for saving us a you, you one. Okay. So that's our fourth party member, right? What else is down this way? I guess this is how we get out, right? Uh... Oh, interesting. Hmm. Alright. Good kills, everybody. Ooh, that's a lot of damage onto her. I think Maria's brother had a different name. Okay, maybe it's not the fourth party member then. Maybe I'm just remembering him because he was somebody that uh, the princess told us about. Let's just go up here, get that chest. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, so doing that just makes everybody try to run. I see. I understand what that does now. Uh, really? Come on. All right, well. These slimes are really annoying. I wish I had uh, bought some magic. I was silly and didn't. Is there any magic that could help us out? So there's MP, HP and MP with target, weird. Can I... No. Please run. <laughs> Fun running in it's not nearly as good as the Final Fantasy one, yeah. It seems like it. Alright, I guess we'll try to fight our way out of this. I don't feel like this is gonna work very well. But if I can get rid of maybe a few of them, maybe it becomes easier to uh, run. Luckily they don't really do any damage. Don't know. Oh, nine. There you go. Damn. Come on. Come on. Kill at least one more. Oh, 
that's gotta be dead, right? Good. Let's try running now. There we go. We made it alive. Fire tone attained! Oh! Thank God. Now the question is, who do I want? I guess maybe we'll get Maria to learn some black magic. Sure, let's do that. Alright. Got ourselves some magic. We should be able to beat those slimes up a little easier now. I'm assuming they're somewhat weak to magic. Okay, that's a dead end. Let's... So how do I... Ah, there's the button for that. Let's... It only costs one, but I, we don't need to. I'll just save it for the things that actually... Oh, these guys are stronger than I thought. I'll save it for the slimes that actually seem to require magic. Ow. Oh, jerks. Oops. Oh, don't hit him. Oh, so I can't hit that third one in the back. Okay. So we'll just do this then. Damn, 17 is all you can do, eh? Okay. And you missed. God. Come on, Maria. You're supposed to be an expert bowsman. Thought you were better than this. Alright. Let's try this direction then. Another dead end. Don't know why somebody would build a bridge to there. I guess it's like a mining place, so maybe they're just getting some mineral or mineral, some mithril, and then once they run out in that area, they move on to somewhere else. I guess that makes sense. 113 damage. I think that's our first hit over 100 damage. Well done, guy. What's the door there? How do I get to that area? What's over this way then? Oh man, Minru. Got some strong arms on you there, swinging that stick around. Oh my god, you're <laughs> doing more than the rest of the team here. There we go. Thank God Minru came with us. Better be something good down here. Okay, is this the exit? Not quite. Oh my God, it's your time to shine, Maria. Let's see it. Let's see the big fire spell. What is she doing? Is she picking her nose? Is that how she <laughs> is that how she prepares casting spells? Sticking her finger up her nose? <laughs> Alright, I won't question it, it worked. Whatever works for you, I guess. This is a long bridge. Alright. Should be done anyway, just the Sasquatch left. Well done, team. Uh, so there's the door there, I guess. Fighting balloons. Where are we fighting balloons? I think they have about 20 health or so. Or you know what? Maybe my beast theory tells me. Not that it really matters. Alright. Well done. Let's see what's in this door. A trap. Trap room as it were, as I've learned to call it. Ok, 
Okay. Everybody increased XP. The thing with magic is that it levels up with use. You don't buy strong. Oh, you're right. So maybe I should be using it more frequently. Would be a good idea. Yeah, thank you for reminding me of that. I don't need to worry about him using spells because I'm pretty sure he's not going to be here in our team for very much longer. It's cool animations though. Oh, that wasn't very much damage. I thought your fire would be better than that. She gained a lot of health, actually. Actually, everybody kind of has. Teleport Tome. Monster in a box. Oh no. It's a land turtle? Why is a turtle trying to fight us? Ooh. Ooh, it's a... It's a very defensive thing, isn't it? It costs one MP per spell level, I think. Oh, so as I level up the spells, they cost more MP. Gotcha, that makes sense. But as I use more spells, I'm guessing I gain more MP because I level up my... Okay, this is interesting. Let's try some fire on the land turtle then. See if... See if the turtle likes that. Ooh! Is he dead? He is dead. Oh no! Uh, okay. That's not good. Um... have life. I guess I'll give that a shot. Is it gonna just res him with one health again though? Right. Okay, not one health. But better than nothing. Oh, wow. Very skirmy, yeah. I don't like this. I don't like this thing. Not sure if you can run from a monster in the box. I don't know. I hope I can beat it. Uh, should I do this? Sure. Kind of need ice for turtles. Uh oh. I don't have ice. I've got axes and I got fire. No ice. So how much is? Oh my god. That's like basically if. Oh my god, Minmu, you're so strong fine. Nope, oh, nope. Uh, let's just do everybody. There's no reason not to. Oh my god, am I gonna die to a turtle? Come on, I can't have that much more health, right? This is not going well. Uh, defend against special attacks, raising defense. Let's do this. Oh, big fire! 22, it's dead, right? It's not dead, uh-oh. Did you pick any Antarctica winds or anything like that? I didn't. The only thing I've picked up is this fire tome. Might be okay. Might. I don't like that word. Might. Oh. I do like that word. Might. Okay. That was good. We did it. We beat the incredible beast known as a turtle. And Minru even leveled up there. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? Uh. Let's save over this one. Okay, let's uh, avoid turtles. Turtles are not fun. That chest was really far out of the way though, so I'm guessing that's like the... the thing. The uh, important, big, dangerous thing of this dungeon, or maybe just this floor. 
What did that turtle give me as well? A teleport tome, that's right. I don't know really who to give that to. I guess you don't really need to level up a teleport tome, right? Uh, I need to really save her magic for monsters that are only weak against magic. I might have some potions actually to get her MP up. Miss, come on. I've been using magic for like five minutes and you've already forgotten how to use a bow. Alright, easy fight. A lot easier than a turtle. How insulting is that? You bring six people to fight me and I'm disappointed that you're not as strong as a turtle. Oh, there's so which rooms are going to be left or right? Always go left first. What is this thing? What are you? You big boss? Heh, <laughs> rebels. Never thought I'd have to deal with your kind down here. Well, if you think you're getting mithril, you're right. My mithril braids straight through your heart. Bring it on, sergeant. Ow. Okay. I underestimated you uh, immediately. Let's do a fire attack. Let's do a life, I guess. I'll life him, then we'll barrier everybody, and then I'll heal him. And I'll just hope that between... Oh no, that didn't do very much damage. That did a lot of damage though. Attack. You know what, you have... You have a cure, you can cure him. You can- oh, you're out of MP. Uh, it's so nice that you can save a dungeon. Yes, it is- I was kind of worried because I, I was kind of- I had save states for the first game, which helped out a lot. Um, but yeah, dying in a dungeon was definitely a big deal in that key in the first game, but this I can save whenever I want, so it's not too, too bad. Um, I draw- don't I have something that... Don't I have some... Something to... Oh, I don't have any MP potions. Uh-oh. Alright, I guess we're just using bows. Ooh. Oh, I just realized Minru's almost out of MP as well. Okay. Guy does a little bit of damage, so that's something. Uh, so we'll just attack for it. How much does... Oh, we can't even use Cure anymore. We're out of Cures. Uh-oh. That's not good. Let's just hope we can kill this guy before he kills us. That's always number one plan. Even with the barrier, he still does like 42 damage. Oh no. Why is he so strong? I don't have anything else. He's an evasion. Uh, I guess I'll try it. Cool. Okay, 20 damage. 8 damage, it's something. 34, that's a big hit. I really wish I had more magic spells because that like 60 damage at the start of the fire would have been nice to be able to do. Well, he's dead. Oh no. Am I just not strong enough to beat this guy yet? Uh oh. Oh, three? Oh no. Um. This is all I can really do. Somebody's dead, I think. Yeah, there. It was Maria. Oh no. Oh, big hit. It's not enough, though. 
So I guess this game doesn't have the same mechanic where the party formation matters. Doesn't really seem to. Furion hasn't been hit at all. In fact, he's not getting targeted in the least. Oh my god, how much more health do you have? Oh no. Zero damage. Uh... Oh my god. Well, I think we're gonna lose, but... We'll, we'll get a go, just in case. Oh, that's gonna kill him, right? Yeah, there he goes. One guy left. It's all on you, Furion. Furion. There are actually front and back rows that you can swap them to. Oh, is there? Okay. Good to know. Um, I will have to figure that out. I'm sure I'm going to be figuring that out once I die here. I will be impressed if this works out well. If there's one thing I'm known for, it's clenching victory from the jaws of defeat. It's always the sword and shield warrior that does it. Oh, big hit, 20 damage. Do that again and we're going to win. How amazing would that be? I don't think it's going to happen, though. Four damage. Miss. Zero damage. It's like we're hitting each other with pool noodles. No one's doing anything. <laughs> Twelve! Good hit again! How much more health could this guy have, right? He's got to be almost dead. There's no way he's stronger than the legendary turtle. I mean, we're getting a pretty good amount of hits off, but he's not really doing anything to us. <laughs> I'm the best at this game. <laughs> I cannot believe how long this is going on. This is incredible. Oh, 35 damage, big hit. That shield is saving you. Use a potion? Maybe. I'm, I'm almost not too... wouldn't be too disappointed about dying here. Because nobody else is going to get XP, right? But I guess that doesn't matter too, too much. I can kind of do what I did last in the last playthrough, where if I ever run into an issue where I'm too low a level, I can just um, I can just power level off stream. Uh, if you have a spell to him, you can use it for a strong version of the spell. Only once, though. Oh. The only one I have is the teleport one. Can I banish him to another dimension? I don't really want to do that, though. And this is kind of working out. Oh my god, we did it. I'm the best. I can't believe anybody, any of you doubted me. I like how he runs off and just leaves his party behind. That's so funny. <laughs> I mean, I guess we did it. We found Mithril in the chest. It's funny, I found a Mithril chest piece and then I found Mithril in the chest. Alright, um... <laughs> this is... I'm getting deja vu of this from the first game. <laughs> uh, Mithril armor. Oh, can I equip that? Can I not equip Mithril armor? Yeah, I can. It's just, is it worse than... Oh, it's the exact same. Huh. Uh, well, you have Fury on Lord Teleport now, and I guess that's the, that was my plan. That's what I was going to do. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine he's going to be using... I'm not going to have him using too many spells in battle, so... Him with the Teleport spell is fine. Oh my god, we're the best. Okay, this is how we leave this area. I was wondering. 
Where are we? Why do I only have two health? I don't remember only having two health. Uh... I didn't save. That is a good idea. <laughs> Run? I guess we're not running. I, I, maybe I can just beat these guys up. Teleport damages you. Oh! I did not know that. And I probably would not have found that out for a very long time, so thank you for telling me. That is important information that I feel like the tome probably should have specified. Maybe it's in the fine print and I just didn't read it. Oh my god. Alright, I think we've found our hero that's going to uh, actually save the world. I thought it was going to be Guy, but it looks like it's going to be Furion. And there he goes, leaving his party behind. Let's uh, save. So maybe we didn't actually need to use the... Uh, we didn't need to hire that um, airship. It's just a quicker way to get there, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh my god, he's immediately become the greatest character ever. Well, there's the town there. How do I get there, though? Do I need to go up and around? Ooh, a soldier. I just beat one of your commanding officers. Do you really think you take me on? I might head off in a bit. This was well played. I'm impressed. Well, I'm, thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you've enjoyed some of it. Got, oh, this is a dead end. Got lots more Final Fantasy to be playing, so... Be prepared. Uh... Alright. We're gonna end for a long journey with a bunch of dead people on our, aren't we? Uh, I guess we are going down here. Ooh, they go first, that's fine. Ha! You really scared of one little guy? Oh my god. We're already getting hit in five hits. That took us like 20 hours to get to in the first game. Oh, my map! Jesus, you're so smart. That's such a good idea. Uh, what button is it again? Oh yeah, it's like this. Oh my god, wait. Uh, let's hear- oh. Okay, I see where I need to go. I need to go right. Just need to go this way. Can't believe you remember those Sasquatches with two health. That was lucky, yeah. <laughs> it was. Just a little. Would have been a lot better if I had realized I was so hurt before I fought the Sasquatches, but hey. I like to live life on the edge. Oh my god, he's just so strong. The rest of my party's gonna wake up and he's gonna be like 10 times stronger than everybody there. Like, How long were we out? Not very long, but I had to fight everything on my own. I got, I got really good at it while you guys were asleep. Oh no. That's a lot of bees. Um. Ha! They're scared of me. I feel like I should be fine, as long as I don't get poisoned. Uh, I'm also noticing that 
Not all the enemies attack every turn, which is interesting. Makes things go by faster. It makes it, uh, I, guess, I guess it just makes everything easier, honestly. I just killed your queen. Are you really gonna try and, uh, I don't know, try and beat me after killing your queen? Really? You think that's possible? I don't think so. Okay, we're right here. We survived. We did it. I mean, I say we. Furion did it. The back rows can't attack. Oh, so that's okay. This makes more sense now. Okay, I understand. So I can switch my party formation to have the bow person in the back. And even though normally I wouldn't be able to attack from the back because they have a bow, they can attack. I think I'm starting to understand how this works. Okay. Oh my god, they're all just running from me. Uh, Furion is the hero we need, for sure. Unless they have magic with happens later. Yes, okay, so I assume magic, or I, I saw some of the enemies using bow attacks. I assume if they use a bow attack, they can use that from the back, the back uh, rank as well. And I, yeah, I assumed magic was the other thing. Um, okay, where's the uh, little cleric place? Uh, I'm not seeing one. Where's the magic place? Where do I revive everybody? Not there. Not up here. Maybe there's no revive place in this town? Maybe there isn't a revive in this town. Is it up here? No? What's in here? What's in this uh, house? Oh, is this a revive? As you pray, a warm light suddenly envelops you and a voice overflowing with compassion rings in your ears. Soul that wanders in death, return now from that distant land where sorrow and darkness hold sway. Okay, yeah, so like you said, I guess the temples just aren't marked. Okay. Is this free, or are these angels gonna ask for some uh, payment? Can you do map in town? I don't think so. I think the map is only for the overworld. I can try it though. I haven't tried that yet. No, only map in town, and let or uh, yeah, no map in towns. So yeah, I guess they're just not marked, like Onion was saying. Good to know. And I figured out what those. Uh, statues are for as well. They resurrect you. Uh, it costs 304. Oh my god, lady. Can't you see? We're in desperate need of a bed, and you're taking advantage of that. I don't appreciate that. I'm trying to save the world, and you just want money. Alright, let's get a rest. Uh, Freerian. What's his name? Firian. He can fill, uh, all the rest of the party on his adventures. Angels whip out the card readers. Yeah, I know. They're gonna <laughs> start asking for my card pin number and then they're gonna want me to sign up for a membership and I'm gonna have to give them my email and phone number and then I'm just gonna get a bunch of, get a bunch of spam calls from them. Oh god, it's such a headache. Stupid angels. It looks like you managed to save my daughter. Thank you. That cowardly Borgen had been threatening Nelly to get to me. Forgive me, if there's anything I can do to help, all you gotta do is ask. Okay. Uh, Mithril? The cave behind used to be an old Mithril mind. I, I already left. I don't think we need to talk to him. Alright, he doesn't want to give us any reward for saving her, so maybe she does. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> like, you got anything more than a thank you, maybe? Like just cost me like 300 gold to get my injuries fixed up that were your cause. Oh well. I guess we're not getting any gold for that. What do you think about this? I love Joseph, but I know that whatever I'm around, I just get in his way. Don't think like that. Do you, does she really think she gets in the way so much she's just gonna stand out here in the cold? It doesn't look like she's the proper, like, she's wearing like a dress and no gloves. 
She must be freezing. Anyways. Oh. Number one thing we can do now, though, is we can save. Okay, we're all full health. I guess we'll go... I guess we'll go back to the princess. Tell her about our mithril adventures. Oh my god. He's gotten so much stronger since everybody else died. Oh my god. 21 damage and Furion's pulling out the almost 200 damage already. This is so much better than the NES version. This was a lot of fun. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, Onion Man. Have a good rest of your day. It's always nice seeing uh, people uh, up and chat again. Familiar dames. I'm going the wrong way. Well, I guess I should apologize for making you realize how much worse the NES version was. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if my game is broken since you level so much faster here. I'm not sure. It might be one of the things... I didn't read about all the changes that were made in the Game Boy Advance version, but maybe one of the changes was um, uh, just leveling faster and stuff, because the only thing I read was that there was a bunch of quality of life changes. And I look up videos and people are way more level than me. Yeah, I'm not sure. Can I ask? I mean, I know you're leaving, but so if you need to go, that's fine. But uh, where? how are you playing the NES one? Is it on an emulator with, like, a fan translation that you're playing it? Or was there a, an official released version that I'm just not aware of for the NES? Uh, I should check my map more often so I don't get lost so much. Okay, I'm going the right way. But anyways, you don't have to answer if you need to go. I can always just uh, look it up later. It is an emulator. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, what do I? Oh, I need to. Uh, I need to. Um, yes, that's where we need to go back there. Or maybe I could have bought the airship, but he would have taken us straight to the uh, town we need to go to. You can grind really high stats from the start. Yeah, it seems like I'm leveling up pretty quickly. Like, even just that time that my team was dead and Furion was on his own, it seems like he got really strong by himself. Which is nice. It's always annoying when you get to an area and it's, like, um, incredibly difficult. You feel like you just need to level up. Uh... Let's remember to use our map. So we need to go back to here, which is just there. It's not that far away. Ambushed. Oh my god, that guy. Three friends. Plan on ambushing in some adventurers to steer their gold. And they jump into the battle. And one of them immediately runs away. The coward. His friends are going to have some stern words for him. Well, actually, I guess they aren't. Because they're dead. Only nine damage? Oh, I killed it anyways. Hey, everybody's leveling. Uh, I just have to go down this way, right? Yeah, here it is. Pretty sure this is the right town. You can go talk to the princess, hand over the mithril. The one piece of mithril that we found. Hopefully it's enough to, uh, to f for an army. I, I can't imagine it is, but what do I know about blacksmithing? All right, Princess Hilda, was that her name? I've done your quest. The empire suffered, also suffered a heavy losses in the Battle of Finn. They are building the Dreadnought in Basque. Help compensate for their losses. Let's learn about the Dreadnought. 
Let's ask about Mithril. Oh, I have to give her the Mithril, right? That's how this works. There it is. You found the Mithril. Now we'll finally be able to fight the Empire on equal terms. Uh, your stats go up and you use them just like your weapon levels. When you lose HP, your max HP goes up sometimes. Oh. Use magic as max MP. Interesting. So having somebody get hit a lot makes them get more health. Okay. Uh, please take the Mithril to Tobol in the town blacksmith. I'm certain he'll be able to use it to make some magnificent weapons. Okay. Let's do that. But first, I need to figure out this formation thing. So can I have people... Oh, I see. So he's in the front and she's in the back and he's in the back and now he's in the front and now he's in the back. Okay, so these two should get hit more often now, right? Is that how that works? I think I'm going to assume that that's how that works. Okay, we've we've learned some things here. We're starting to learn. Just need to find the uh, town blacksmith now. What are the odds it's going to be a dwarf with a big beard? Uh, town blacksmith. What would a town blacksmith's health look like? Maybe this one, nice and big and luxurious? No. Uh, as long as one person is in the front, the other three can be in the back. Okay, I, I did notice that it wouldn't let me put all four people in the back. Maybe this guy's the blacksmith? Some... is it? Oh, it is a guy with a beard. <laughs> I was right. It's not a, not a dwarf though, it looks like just a regular dude. But he does have a beard. Uh, what could you want with me? I'm just an old man. Uh, let's show him the mithril. Ho oh, oh, ho! That's a mithril! I've been waiting for the chance to work with this metal for as long as I can remember. All right, leave the rest to me. Swords, armor, you can name it. I'll start pounding it out. It's been too long since I let my hammer ring. All right. I can't wait. So maybe I'll ask you, Josh, is it better to have just the one person in front and the other three in the back? Or should I have the two people in front like I have now? kind of two warriors with health. Uh, you can buy the equipment I made over the shop counter. This keep will be my hands full, I'll tell you that. What? I have to buy it? What, what about all the work I did to get the mithril? Don't I get like a free sample or something? These don't look better than... This doesn't look that great. Those are the same. Maybe this guy has it. Here it is. Wow. Knife. Uh, I'm always a fan of two and two. Okay, well, that, that was what I was thinking as well, but I thought I'd ask just in case, uh, in case there was a reason to have just one person in the front. Maybe I'll buy a sword for Guy so he can have an axe and a sword, and that way he can level up both of them. Let's do that. Oh, you know what? I might as well get two. Oh, that's a lot. Why is two? Co oh, no, this is two. It does cut down on physical damage in the back. Yes. Okay. Oh, because, yeah, I guess it's not 100% chance that it'll hit the two people, the person in the front. So I, I guess maybe it's a higher chance if I have two people there. Anyways, yeah, that makes sense. In later game, for this, for sure, I think this one as well. Okay. I'm going to go with that. Okay, we'll get two of those, and then... Should I get, uh, what's her name? Maybe I'll get her to, like, try out a spear or something. But then I have to put her on the front. Hmm. Uh, I don't know that shield really saved you against the boss. Yeah, I think having, like, a shield with him is, uh... The, uh, or the, uh, the shield on Fryrin, Freerin, and then the, um... I cast the shield spell and I had the dodge spell as well. That's really what saved me. Should I try a spear with her? Kind of seems like a bow is a good thing to have, though. 
But I'm curious how spears work. Or maybe I'll give her a knife. Maybe knife works with agility better? I don't know. Ah, let's do it. Why not? Worst case scenario, if I waste a bunch of time leveling the wrong things, again, like I said before, I can just power level off stream. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to put her in the front if I do this. But that's kind of fine. Let's give her... Let's give her two knives. Why not? And then you can have a battle axe in that hand and a mithril sword in that hand. You still have your staff. You can have a mithril sword. And I think we're good. Let's uh, quickly save. Yes. Okay, we made that mithril. Does Princess have uh, a next task set up for us? It's gonna want us to go find some adamantium next. Or maybe she needs us to buy groceries for the town, who knows. Well, there's more people in here. Is our resistance growing? because of our efforts. The Dark Knight overseeing the Dreadnought's construction was most capable. Fortunately for us, he's tending to other matters now. The theft of the Mithril has likely knocked the Empire off balance. I would like you to journey to Bafsk. If we're to stop the Dreadnought from being completed, this may be our only chance. Let's ask about the Dreadnought. We have a man in Bafsk. He's found a way to reach the Dreadnought. I want you to destroy it. At the very least, find a way to delay its completion. I have full confidence that with you and Minwu, this task will be accomplished. Uh, let's show you some eye drops. Nothing happens. I just noticed she wasn't blinking, so I thought maybe she could use the eye drops. But if she doesn't want them, that's she doesn't have to, I guess. All right, I guess we're going back to the town. I wonder if the the Dark Knight is that same knight that we were uh, talking to before, the scary looking dude. One goblin thinks he can take us on. Ba -da -ba -da. Uh, it's over this way. Boom, 160. Dagger, dagger, nice job. <laughs> Jeez, that was pathetic. Oh, her knife skill increased with that, really? I would not have thought that. Didn't look like she knew what she was doing. Do I, I gotta go back into town and talk to somebody to get us back over there? Yeah, I'll pay your stupid 32 gold. Alright, let's go. Here we are. This is not the town we need to be in. But I could just pay Sid to, uh to bring us over to Bafsk, right? Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Oh, I was just pressing A. Oh, it was Bafsk. I picked the right place, okay. Hopefully, uh... Talking to him again doesn't undo the payment we made. Good. Alright, got kind of lucky there with picking the right thing. <laughs> Could have wasted 100 gold. Okay, so what's the plan here? Oh, this is a new person and the and the knight that was here before is gone. Organ, what's this? Back to work, work I say. If we finish even a day sooner, my glory will be that much greater. Maybe that is the bad guy? Nothing in here. Uh, oh, I forgot to learn spells. Oh, silly me. Oh, 
maybe I should go back to that town and learn some uh, magic. Um, I'll do that in a minute here. Do you know anything? That's weird though, I can't seem to remember how things were back when the Dark Knight or the Dark Knight was here. I'm missing something here. You know anything? I need a pass to board the Dreadnought. Okay, that's information that I... that's good. You're the rebels, right? You gotta destroy the Dreadnought. I'm trying to. Can you keep your voice down? Is the Dark Knight ever going to get back? At this rate, we're going to fall behind schedule for sure. Okay, so that Dark Knight was the guy that was there before. I swear, no one wants to work under General Borgen. Okay, so he's here in lieu of the Dark Knight, and the Dark Knight is missing. Uh, so we need to get a pass. Okay, that doesn't help me. Where would I find a pass? Is there anybody in this inn that I can talk to? No. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. No other houses I can enter, it doesn't look like. Interesting. Uh. Well then. Oh, am I gonna run into some powerful enemies? Let's do that. Alright. Let's kill everything right away. Boom. Oh, well done. Well done, Maria. Surely your fire is gonna massively level up from that. Maybe the Black Knight went, like, down this way somewhere? Should check my map. Ooh. This looks really dangerous to be going down this way, but whatever. Almost 200 damage already. Fire level 2? We got fire level 2, nice. Okay. So we'll just do some exploring. Preemptive strike. That means free attacks for us. Miss. Miss! Ooh, you're not great with daggers, are you? Two hundred damage. Okay, Furion is the first to hit the two hundred damage mark. Well done. So there was like a town in the center of this place, right? Am I not remembering that right? Do do do. Okay, not everything died, that's fine. Still haven't hit anything with your daggers, that's crazy. Oh, is it because she's in the back rank? Is that why? Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why she's not hitting anything. And this, is that why he's missing as well? That's gotta be it, right? Uh, was there not a... Oh, it's just down further. Oh, well I should, uh... I guess put her in the front so she can use her daggers. Okay, so we made it here without too much of a hassle. What's this? Oh, damn it. 
there's actually stuff here to fight. I thought this was going to be a town. That's your vote? Okay. Sunflower blazes lightly. Nuki turns to learn. Let's ask this fire about the dreadnought. Let's ask this fire about mithril. Let's we'll say wild rose. We'll say airship. What else do I have? I got nothing else. Okay, I guess we're not talking to the fire. Ambushed. All right. Uh. Oh, he's in the back row as well, so he can't even attack. That's fine. Door is locked. Hmm. Okay, I guess we don't need to come here yet. Two nineteen. Hey, there we go. So it must be because she was in the back rank. So where else can we lead to then? I think it's kind of funny. I told Wild Rose to everyone, so I guess it's not such a good I know. You just keep going around telling people, everybody, Wild Rose. Okay, so th it must be... Oh my god, this is a big map. Uh, how did I... Full map, here we go. So, in Keshem Keep right now, is there another place below us then here? Oh, a Chocoba Forest, okay. Uh, sure, if you just want to tell me what town I need to go to and then I'll try to figure it out from there, that would be, that would be nice. Oh my god, it's the Chocobo. We found a Chocobo. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So I don't think Chocobos were the first game at all, so this is, I guess, the first uh, time we find them. Oh, this is great. I love this. Oh my god. And I don't. it doesn't look like we get into any counters as well. Oh, this. I love this. This is great. Alright, let's take another look at our map. Uh... Sure, it was the one north here. I would just ask walk around a bit more carefully. It was this one here? Or this one, okay. Well, we got a chocobo that's gonna speed this up a very much. Hopefully this chocobo sticks around. Oh, nope, there it goes. I did learn the word dreadnought. Oh, am I supposed to tell people about the word dreadnought? Maybe I'm supposed to ask uh, this guy about the dreadnought. Back to work, work, I say, if we finish this year, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Uh, get back to work. Back to work. Okay. Maybe this guy. Uh, okay. Oops, you didn't hear that. Ask about Dreadnought. So you're the ones they sent to destroy the Dreadnought. Don't worry, I'm on your side. Oh, okay. There's an entrance to the sewers up ahead. It's a back way leading to the Dreadnought. Be careful. Entrance to the sewers up ahead. What does that mean? They see us talking. The Maestro gets suspicious. I'm out here. Good luck. Oh, he's blocking the way to it. I see. I understand now. Okay. Let's go rest at the inn. Um, and actually, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a bit of time, but I, I think I need to learn, learn some more magic. I'm gonna go learn some more magic. Uh, thank you, Onion, for the little help there. Um, 
So I do need to go back all the way around. Man, I miss my chocobo. Boom. Let's see those knives. Nice. So maybe, maybe it's a better idea to have her learn bow. If she has the bow and black magic, then she can stay in the back rank. I feel like that's probably the best thing I should do for uh, her class, as it were. But I, I kind of wanna. Daggers are really cool, though. Okay. Hoft. Does this place have a uh, an inn? Does it have a magic place? That's that's items. That's swords. What's this one? There we go. Magic. What kind of magic can I learn from you? Cure blank protect shell. Okay. Don't want any of that. Ooh, no, I need to uh, need to get our boat. I guess we got to go back to the first town. Uh, is this? Oh my god, I'm getting lost in like this tiny little town. It's gonna take us a bit, but I think getting the magic was something I should have done. Uh, I should have done that at the start, and I didn't. Okay. All right. Uh, this town doesn't have anything, or not what I need to have. Good knife hits. Well done. I'm probably going to end up... Although I guess having her in the front, like, it's not a bad thing, because I guess her health goes up a little bit, and it's never bad to have an extra bit of health, right? And things aren't really hurting us right now, so maybe just getting people's health up is a good plan to have. That's the major ground of the game, in my opinion, is getting magic stronger. Yeah, it seems kind of annoying, because on the one hand, you don't want to constantly be using magic because then you waste all your MP. But on the other hand, if you're not using magic all the time, then you don't level it up. Uh, oh, I don't need to rest here. What am I doing? Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Again, like I, I've said this a few times already, worst case scenario, I can like power level off stream a little bit just to make the, um, the main story. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just to make the maid story go a little more quickly. I, I don't know what I'm doing though. I'm getting my head all mixed up. I came here to learn some magic. That's why we're here. Uh, okay, that's not the magic shop. This is the magic shop. Okay. Okay, so we've got fire. I guess we'll learn all of these, right? You know, I guess I could teach other people magic too, but... Uh... I don't think there's any harm in teaching other people magic. I'm guessing Guy. I think I'm gonna leave Guy, like, basically no magic and just have him straight attacking. But maybe I'll get, um, these two, the, the Freeran and Maria, to learn some magic. Freeran will be more of a general purpose sort of a magic and then maybe Maria will be straight black magic I think that's fine uh, now the question is okay uh, blizzard and fire to you. Alright, um, I might just go back to bow with her. I don't want to, there's no reason to, uh, 
to waste um, to waste her learning more than one thing, right? Was there a... So it looks like just the bow can attack from the back line. Make sure, but I believe intelligence and mind are separate in this one. It for black, mind for white. Ooh, okay, that's good to know as well. I don't even see... That's not even a... Uh... Oh, you can check. Here we go. Intelligence and magic. So what's the difference between intelligence and magic? I'm guessing magic. Maybe she should be learning... Oh, she's got really high intelligence. Maybe she should be learning... Uh... Maybe she should be learning the, the heal spells then. Hold on. Guy's intelligence is not 10, I can tell you that. Okay, no, he's a healer, so magic must be for healing. Okay. Kind of feel like that would be the other way around, but what do I know? Inferion definitely doesn't have 10 intelligence. Oh, so that's what the bar next to the spell is. That's when. That's how long before it levels up. Ew. Ooh, I'm gonna test one other thing then. If I use cure outside of battle, does that level it up? It looks like it does. It totally does. Okay. That's good. So I'll just get him to... Okay, 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 we're learning, we're learning. This is good, I like learning. All right. Uh, now we can... Now we can go back and destroy a Dreadnought. Oh, she's still in the front row. So I guess... Intelligence makes black magic stronger, spirit makes white magic stronger. Magic is the amount of MP you get. According to the wiki. Oh, okay. I didn't even see spirit. I must have missed that one. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, we'll just get our fire spell up. Why not? 245. He's already closing in on the 300 mark. Okay, and also... Let's do that. Oh my god. Ambush? Don't know. Escape. Ooh. Chicken. We'll just get her to learn some, uh... So I wonder if... If I cast a magic spell that targets everybody... But there's only one person left, like now. Does it switch to doing a single target spell? Or does it still do the damage from the multi-target, I wonder? Maria's intelligence increased. Okay, that's good. Yes. Just board the ship, and we will set sail. Excellent. Okay, we've made it to here. I guess we could just... Ugh, I don't wanna... We don't need to waste our money. It's... it's... We can get uh, some free XP as well. Doing it this way. It doesn't take very long to get there. Save a bit of money, earn some XP. Only positives. We are really bad at getting ambushed, aren't we? Or we're good at getting ambushed, maybe? I don't know. It's not good either way. Alright. I love the little dance his hair does when we walk around. A little flicker in the wind. Is the fire a level 2 spell? I don't know if it is yet. It is level 2 because it costs 2 magic, so maybe let's try getting some other spells up levels. I see where the grind is going to come in, where you have to level up not just your magic proficiency, but all of the spells as well. Oh, 
110 gil from that, wow. Nope, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, so we're back here, so now we can, we'll go to the inn. I don't think we're missing any health, but we can get our MP back up. And then uh, we'll go blow up a Dreadnought. I hope we blow it up. I mean, if we're not blowing this thing up, I'll be disappointed. Or maybe we're just going to steal it. That would be cool. Like a Skies of Arcadia type deal. Steal their big important ship. Now I'm trying to remember the name of the ship in Skies of Arcadia and I can't. I heard they were doing... They were supposed to be doing either a remake or... A sequel to Skies of Arcadia, I feel like I heard. Maybe that was just a rumor. That would be cool to get a sequel to that. Alright, we're just gonna swim around in the sewers. Sounds like fun. Oh, I don't want to attack myself. <laughs> That's not a smart thing to do. Garlic. Oh, we gotta get that chest. Never got a chance to play that one. It's an amazing, it's one of my favorite JRPGs of all time. It's so good. I'm trying to think, it's probably, honestly, I think the only one that I, that I think I've enjoyed more was Tales of Symphonia. I think Tales of Symphonia is my number one, I think Skies of Arcadia is number two. I'm trying to think if there's any other ones, but honestly, if I have to think about it, then it's probably not my favorite. I like this, like, Imperial imperial March type music. Alright, let's get some... I have to check it out. Yeah, yeah, Skies of Arcadia. If you like JRPGs, if you like, uh, like, um, oh my god, Final Fantasy, the game that I'm playing that I couldn't remember the name of. If you enjoy that, you'll love um, Skies of Arcadia for sure. But I would say play the play the Legends one, the GameCube version, because they made some uh, slight improvements over the uh, original. I think the biggest thing they did was you gain XP faster and there's less encounters. Apparently that was the biggest complaint about the Dreamcast version was there was just like so many encounters. But yeah, I would love to see a sequel to that, or even like a remastered version. I don't know, I probably wouldn't play like a, uh, if they just did a, a, um, what should we call it? If they just did like a, a port to like the Switch or something, I probably, I wouldn't play that one, but I, I would enjoy it for other people to be able to play it. Because it is kind of too bad that it's only on Dreamcast and GameCube, which are two consoles that didn't have the biggest audience. It sucks that so many amazing games are kind of left to the wind for not having a big audience. Her magic increased. Excellent. What is this music? It's <laughs> Ooh, zombies. Interesting. If the last thing I remember about zombies is they hate fire. Oh, I can also like heal them, can't I? But uh, we'll, we'll save his heals. I feel like I'm kind of wasting our magic, but worst case scenario, we run out of magic. 
and I can teleport out of the dungeon and uh, rest at the inn. Here we go, chest. Longbow, I already have a longbow. Yeah, system exclusives are unfortunate. It is, yeah. But that was the one thing that I would say that like the Switch almost like revived a ton of games because everybody just was making ports to the Switch. Which, from a business standpoint, it's basically like guaranteed income from not too much development time. And from a consumer standpoint, it's the games that you might not have played, you get to play a whole bunch. I, I need to look that up now. I feel like there was something about Skies of Arcadia getting remade or something like that. Skies... Sky of Arcadia. It's already in my Google search history. <laughs> uh, localization. Skies of Arcadia Legends port. That's just the GameCube. So it was a director's cut. Oh, I didn't even know that. So apparently the GameCube version has... There's extra content on the GameCube version that was only available as downloadable content on the Dreamcast as well. So there you go, it's even got more content. Skies of Arcadia... Um, a remake? Remaster? 2024? It was 10 months ago. And it doesn't seem like it. There was, okay. Let people experience the ones they missed, especially with those games. I agree, completely. Uh, it's... Yeah, okay, never mind. Sorry, I'm googling stuff. I should be, uh, playing the game. It seems like there was a rumor about a remake some months ago, but there's nothing official about it yet. Uh, I guess these are the stairs, but let's, uh, let's take a look for some chests around here. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. If, if you're looking for a JRPG to play, it's Skies of Arcadia 100% is the one I would recommend. Alright. Oh, and they released a Baton Kaitos, or Baton Kaitos, however you pronounce it. They did a remake of that on the Switch not too long ago. Those games are alright. Or the first one I've played. I, had to, I haven't played the second one yet. I was hoping to obtain the second one on GameCube, but it's kind of rare and very expensive. And uh, I'm kind of I'm playing Final Fantasy right now, so I don't need another JRPG to uh, take up my time. But one day I'll get to the second Bait and Katos game. Man, I'm loving this uh, brass section in this song. It's great. It's weird though. I've never heard the name. I've heard the name, but can't think of what it's about. It's... It's, um... It's sort of like a card-based system. I don't know how to explain it. It's similar to like a Final Fantasy VII type or Chrono Trigger where you have like the, um, well, maybe not Chrono Trigger or Final Fantasy VII. It has, it, it's turn-based, but there's like a timer on your turn and you have your cards and then the cards, you, each character has like a different set of cards they can use. And you have to like build your deck and putting different cards together, like combos them together. It's it's a very interesting mechanic. The only thing I didn't like about it was the time limit. You only have like, it gives you like five to ten seconds to do your turn. And it, it kind of feels like you want to spend more time deciding what the best move forward is. So it, it does feel kind of rushed sometimes. That was the one complaint I had. 
it feels like I, I want to be able to combo all these cards and I want to find out what the best, the most, um, most damage I could do in a turn is, but I don't have enough time to figure out what the most optimal solution is. That was the only thing. But it's a very interesting system. Okay, we're gonna save because it looks like we're fighting a boss here and if it's anything like that turtle we fought, we're gonna be in for a rough time. Dark Knight, you're too late. The Dreadnought is complete. I've been working behind the scenes to see the project through to completion. End your resistance. Kneel before your Emperor. It is the only alternate left to you. Absolutely not. We're gonna take you down, we're gonna steal this Dreadnought, and we're gonna use it to blow up your silly Emperor. Consider what I've said. When the time comes, we will meet again. Oh, he's not even gonna fight us. He's gonna run away, the coward. What a coward. Oh, Borgen, he's gonna make us fight his little weird dude instead. Hehe, <laughs> looks like you came out this way for nothing. I don't remember what voice I did for him. See for yourselves. Uh, gotcha sounds interesting. I'll look up some videos on it. The Final Fantasy will definitely keep you busy for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing these Final Fantasies for a long time, I think. That's, it's always nice to have some, uh, I always like to kind of have a JRPG on the run, on the go. And I, there wasn't really any big JRPGs that were getting released anytime soon. So I figured I'll go through these Final Fantasies. Okay, what's happening here? The Dreadnought is complete and it looks like we were too late. That's unfortunate. Oh no, it's flying away. Very slowly. Alright, it was starting to speed up there. Yeah, uh, Bait and Katos is... you could check it out for sure, but it's definitely a game that I think some people won't... some people might not enjoy. Uh, and one of my favorite parts about it is the voice acting is awful in that game. If you want to have a laugh, like, just look up some cutscenes. The voice acting is like... it's like, um, you know, 90s anime dub type of situation. It's hilarious. And there's also like, I think there's like a weird compression that they had to do because there's, because they can only fit so much on the GameCube disc. One thing I'll recommend, spoilers aside, try to keep away from the reviews and stuff. The entire series is nothing if not divisive. Yeah, I've tried to stay away from uh, as much as I, uh, as I, as I uh, can. The only time I, I look up is like specific game mechanics when I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, there was some cutscenes there, Onion. B-movie voice acting is the best, yeah, and B-movie voice acting in Bait and Katos is top tier. It's... it feels like the actors didn't know what the situation was that they were in and they just had to read these lines. And then on top of that, there's like... all of the audio has like this weird compression on it, so it makes it sound like it wasn't recorded very well. It's hilarious. Uh, you are as strong now as I've, as it took me so long to get to. Really? Interesting. That must be the NES version. Because I, I don't feel like I'm doing anything special. Okay. Anyways, I think we need to go back to the princess. We need to inform her of our failure to, uh, to stop the dreadnought. And we'll tell her to surrender and her life may be spared. I think that's our last option. Okay, we're getting some HP increases, that's nice. Even with our mithril weapons. We weren't able to stop them. Let's get our thunder up a level. Yeah, the combat in this definitely feels a lot less punishing than the first game. The first game, to get how much story I got done here, it felt like I, I had to constantly leave dungeons and go back to town and heal myself up and slowly crawl my way through a dungeon, but here it's kind of just... I can just go through it pretty quickly. I'm not going to complain about that. 
NES, when one stat goes up, another goes down. What? That's... what? Oh my god. That sounds so rough. Oh. That sounds awful. I'm guessing it's like when your strength goes up, your intelligence goes down kind of a thing. Like, so you can't have a black mage with dual wielding axes. I'm guessing it's to prevent you from doing that, but that just seems weird to... It makes more sense this way, where whatever you use a lot goes up and whatever you don't use doesn't. That sounds so frustrating, losing stats. Ugh. This lightning doesn't do a whole lot of damage to these guys, does it? Alright, his thunder level increased. Awesome, okay. Now we'll get that blizzard up a level, I guess. Oft. Alright, take me back. Oh, you're not the one, sorry. You're the one. Off we go. Back to, what's her name, Princess Hilda, I believe that was her name, right? Alright. It's only 50% chance to go down, to, I mean, even 1% even chance still feels bad. Anytime you lose stats on something, it just feels horrible. It's, oh, I keep going into this town. This I didn't realize this town's all busted up, isn't it? I don't think I explored this town very much at all. Is there... what kind of magic can we buy here? Okay, nothing. Never mind. Let's just go back to the princess. Ooh. Uh, so Thunder's up a level, so I guess we'll get Blizzard up a level? Why not? I still can't not see her picking her nose when she's doing that. God, I'm loving the animations. So much more impactful than the first game. Or I guess the, more in, than the NES version. I really did a big upgrade with the Game Boy Advance. Uh, is this the town? Am I going crazy? Jeez. Oh no, everything's been... Oh no, was it the Dreadnought that did this? Oh no, we're too late. Oh, that's why the other town was broken up as well. I did not notice it before, it just happened. Oh no. Okay, let's uh save. Just in case, I don't know, Princess turns evil and we have to fight her. I don't know. Many were wounded in the Dreadnought's attack. The shock has even caused my father's condition to turn for the worse. I hate that my father has to see this. He knows he knows his death is near. Uh oh. Is there nothing you can do, Minwu? All those who lived must someday die. It is our fate. Well, that's... That's not really what you want to hear a healer tell you. When I go to the hospital, that's not what I want my doctor to tell me. <laughs> Still, it is my duty as a white wizard to ease the pain of those who suffer. No, your duty is to help those who suffer. Not... Ah, uh, well, whatever. I shall remain here and devote myself to the care of the wounded. I take my leave of you. Oh, no. The fate of the world rests on you, Furion. Waste no time in destroying the Dreadnought. I like how he's not even acknowledging the other two. It's only on you. Minru leaves the party. It's a sad day. But that must mean that we're going to be getting our next party member soon. To, has improved a great deal thanks to Minru. Oh, let's ask about Mithril. She doesn't know anything about Mithril. Okay. Um, maybe this guy knows something. 
You see it happen, just as I said it would. Obviously the task was more than you could handle. Come on, man, I tried. What were you doing, sitting here, twiddling your thumbs behind your back? You're not helping anybody. Please, Lord, save our king. This is a kid? I'm, I'm scared. Don't be scared, child. I'll save you. It's Gordon's disappeared. I wonder where he could have gone. Is he the guy that died? <laughs> There's a man in Poff named Sid who just might know the Dreadnought has any weaknesses. Sid was the first person to ever build an airship, and the Dreadnought's really nothing but a big airship, right? Hmm. Uh, three hours ago, you couldn't even join the army, now the fate of the world is in your hands. No kidding, eh? I didn't think about that. <laughs> the princess was like, didn't want us to join at all because we were too pitiful in her eyes. And now suddenly we're the only ones that can do anything to stop everything. It's funny how quickly they've changed their minds on that. Okay, I guess we're gonna go talk to Sid. And uh, he's gonna... He's gonna tell us where the big red glowing spot on the dreadnought is and then we're gonna we're gonna shoot a big fireball at the big red glowing spot is that what's gonna happen well at least our canoe is getting some use oh my god this bow is uh Kinda of weak, isn't it? That's okay. I know your town's been destroyed, but you're still, uh... That's good on you. Same prices, despite this... literal collapse of your town. You've maintained your dignity and... not upcharged... people in their time of need to escape. Got a blizzard off. Oh wow, that actually killed them all. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. You gave Maria back the bow, yes. Cause I, I guess I guess she's gonna kinda be my black mage, I guess. And so if she's gonna be in the back lines, it's she can't use her daggers, so I gave her the bow. That's my thought process. Maybe things will change later on, I'm not sure. But that's what I'm thinking right now. And then, uh, yeah, once the fourth party member joins, I'll make them the, the white mage. That's the plan. If things change, then they change. But for now, that's what we're going to go with. But I'm wondering if, oh, I'm wondering if, um, how much a staff, like a magic staff, how much that increases your black magic damage. Oh my god. I just referenced for the highest level of spells is 16. For sure she's a natural black mage. Okay. I wasn't sure if there was like a, uh, oh my god, I hit that button again. I wasn't sure if there was like a, um, the way you're supposed to do it or the way it guides you. It seems like he's sword and shield. She she had the bow to start with, I guess, so she was a bow person and then he just had a big axe, so I'm gonna give him the big axes. I don't know what the fourth person's gonna have at all. All right, Sid, tell me about the weakness of the Dreadnought. You want on the airship? Pay the guy behind me. Let's ask him about the Dreadnought. What you want to do is blow up that thing's engine. Do that and you could bring down the whole overgrown tub. Is that, is that all the info? Airships are powered by Sunfire. I'm sure the Dreadnoughts are different. I found Sunfire in the uh, other spot, didn't I? Let's ask about Sunfire. Controlling Sunfire is a tricky business. Let the flames get too high, you got a runaway on your hands. The engine will blow the sky high. Okay. Uh... Kashun, Gatria, Fen, Altair. Oh, those are really expensive. 
Okay. So we want to blow up the engine. Uh, don't know where it is though. Uh, so this is that town we were in before the snow town. This was the first dungeon. That's where we are now. This is Ofsk. Don't think I can get there. This is that dungeon down there. Maybe that's where I need to go, or maybe I can go down here. It's all this area to explore. It doesn't look like it's blocked off at all. Oh, and that loops back around to this side. And then... So that's the port town, that's that town. Hmm. Where to go? I'm going to go talk to people in this town just to see if there's any info there. And then maybe we'll head back to the capital city, I guess? It's the only thing I can really think of. Oh, I forgot I don't have my third teammate or fourth teammate anymore. I mean, the place Gordon was from has suddenly conveniently disappeared. Oh, so Gordon's the different prince then. I understand. Gordon's gonna be a traitor, isn't he? Who was the prince that died then? I don't remember. Okay, so Gordon sold out the rebels then, I guess. That's my thought. Yeah, let's see if there's any info we can gather from this area. You know you guys, like, if you guys go like five minute walk south, it's a lot warmer. You don't need to build your town here. Okay. This guy's got some info for us. So you managed to save my daughter, you're welcome. Anything else I can do for you? Do you know anything about a dreadnought? Since the Dark Knight took it over, construction's been moving ahead a lot faster than before. I hear it may be close to even being done. I heard it is done, and I heard it blew up some towns. Anything about Sunfire? No. Alright, maybe this little girl knows something about the Dreadnought that nobody else does. No, she doesn't. Uh, do you know anything about the Dreadnought? Nope. Uh, take the Mithril to the tower, give it to the princess. I already did. Okay, nothing in this town. Let's uh, go back, I guess. So I guess I'll just level up each spell one at a time. And then uh, when I need to use the weaknesses on bosses, then I'll, I should, I'll have a... I'll have a good assortment of elements to pick from. And I won't have one that's too much stronger than the other one. Okay, fire's level three. Now this is not the right way. This little plant thinks it can take us on. Uh, I, where, where's the town? There it is. You had a good idea talking to Joseph. Okay, should I go back and talk to Joseph then? And ask him about something else? Alright, I'll take that hit then. Alright, Joseph, we're coming back. I forgot to ask you something. Or maybe I'm supposed to show him an item? 
I keep forgetting I can show items. What item do I have that would be important to show him? So that's level 3, so let's get Thunder up a level. No, no, not Joseph. Okay. We won't go talk to Joseph then. Up, up. I think there might be a missing word. Ah, I need to learn something. I see. Um. Oh, did I ask Joseph about Sunfire? I don't think I did. Uh, oh my god, it's the wrong button again. Key terms. Sunfire Dreadnought. first. Okay, well I'll, I'll double check this town then. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, he didn't know anything about it. Okay, he didn't know anything about the Sunfire. Okay, I need to go learn, um, I need to go learn something from someone then. I was thinking Princess too. That's, that's where I think I'm gonna head to next. Sid told us the weakness of the Dreadnought, so maybe the we tell that to the princess and maybe she's going to have a plan and give us our next objective. But I actually don't mind the... Uh, I don't mind wandering around as much. It wasn't as tedious as the first game. Battles go quickly. I feel like I'm getting stronger. It's it's kind of nice to wander around a little bit. And I don't ever feel like I'm going to suddenly die because of a an unlucky encounter. All right. Oops. you take us back across? Thank you. Man, these boat people are getting their money's worth out of us, that's for sure. Squeezing us dry. Okay. I don't know why I go into this town every- well, you know what? Maybe there's somebody in this town that knows something. I should- I should talk to everybody. 99% of the time it'll be pointless, but that 1% of the time it could save me. So let's see what the people in here have to say about their town being destroyed. Fountain's still going at least. I'm hurt. Hurt bad. I don't think I'm gonna make it. They're walking around pretty fine. Uh, nobody else in the inn. Is this the only survivor? One dude? Okay, there's a second guy. Do you know anything? My daughter, they killed my daughter. Oh man, that's sad. That's real sad. Still can't talk to the well. And there is a magic place here. Don't think I've been here yet. Cure, Tome. Protect and shell, blah. You know what? Let's... I'm gonna buy one of each and then when we do get our next party member maybe I can uh, quickly teach him stuff or her I don't remember who the uh, next party member is don't remember their name all right this town is looking like a lost cause so we'll head back to the princess the dreadnought intact and destroyed the entire town I figured that much out all right princess we're coming back for you This one little goblin thinks he can stop us. Don't think so. Okay. 
try the princess and then we'll maybe try talking uh, to some other people in the town. Try and learn things. Well, to thunder, eat my thunder. Good job. Okay, we'll talk to the princess first and see if I forgot to tell her about something. Do you know anything? Yeah, I already learned that. Jesus. Okay. Thought it was safe. It's good, I guess. It's too bad the people all outside died. Uh, ask about Dreadnought. Ask about Sunfire. It's the crest of the kingdom of Kashuan. This flame still burns on the ground floor of Kashuan Keep. I've, I've found that. Scott and Gordon have told me many stories concerning the flame. The finer points of the tale are not known to me. However, I seem to recall that the flame cannot be passed to just any torch. Sid told us that we might be able to use Sunfire to destroy the Dreadnought. Then there's no time to waste. He must depart for Ka Kashwan? I'm gonna go with Kashwan. I'm gonna assume that's how it's pronounced. Kashwan, keep it once. If you hire Sid's airship, the journey should not take long. That leaves only one question. What can you use to bring the Sunfire back? Uh, that's a great question. Um, maybe Sid knows? I hope Sid knows. Alright, back to Sid. Ambushed? Oh no. Maria's HP increased. Nice. Good job, Maria. Good job, Guy. You guys are slowly catching up to uh, Raya Furion. I probably should have said something, but sometimes you have to ask someone about the word they just told you. Uh, yeah, I I keep forgetting that. Should I have asked the queen about the sunfire? Maybe. Anyways. Yeah, if you know I'm immediately going the wrong direction, I, I guess it's, you, it's fine to tell me um, where to go. I don't mind that. So if I am supposed to, if there was something I was supposed to ask the princess, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wasting my time here. You can let me know that. Let's quit some fire. Control I found a trip key? Okay. Let's just go to the keep and find out. Find out if I've wasted my time. Okay. I am gonna rest at the end first though. Oh, it is up there. Okay, noted. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind that, actually. If, you, if I'm going to the wrong direction and you just say, no, you're supposed to go to this town, I'm okay with that. Just uh, no story spoilers, I guess. Uh, magic. Here's, I'm gonna do this. Just because it levels up the cure. Level 2 cure. You're going to be past me so quick though. <laughs> I guess so. It sounds like you're having a rough time with the NES one. Alright, so I'll uh, I'll abuse your knowledge until I can't anymore, I suppose. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. 
I thought Sid knew something. There's a word you're missing. I've asked him. Yeah, I've asked him about all the words I know already. So. Oh, unless. Maybe torch was a special word that I didn't learn about, and I was supposed to ask Sid about the special torch that I need to transfer the flame. Oh, I think that's what I was supposed to do. Yep, I think I've wasted my time coming here. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, Thunder's level 2, so let's get Blizzard to... Wait, Fire's level 3? Did I never level up Blizzard? I guess I didn't. Sounds like Keshwan Keep will give you something to... I, don't know. I thought so too, but it, I, I don't know. I guess maybe we'll... Uh, we'll see. I'll take a quick little look around this area and see if I find anything. God, the blizzard, it looks so cool and then it does 5 damage. Or not, yeah. I'm guessing I need to find it. I need to find, um... Oh yeah, the chocobo! Thank you for reminding me. That makes the traveling back a lot quicker. I would have definitely forgotten about that. I'm guessing I need to find... I need to learn about something that can transfer this flame. Uh, unless, can I like squeeze through here? No. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to come here just yet then. I could have sworn my blizzard leveled up. I guess not. There are actually two words you're missing. I haven't checked on the keywords, not gonna lie. Oh boy. Okay. There's definitely one word which is the torch or whatever I need to transfer it. And then maybe I just ask Sid about that. We're gonna go... I'm gonna see... I need to go back to, um... Um... The main town there. Because the the queen did mention some somebody's name. I just don't remember whose name it was. The king. Yeah, maybe the king knows something. You found a chocobo. Excellent. It's, it's crazy how they nailed all the music, like, first time. Like, the victory win music is the same throughout the entire series. They never needed to change it because it's so good. And now the chocobo music. I'm pretty sure this is, like, the same chocobo music they use for everything, right? I'm gonna check on the king. Oh, keys king. Oh, I see. I see where the your uh, spell check came in. I thought you were talking about keywords. You were talking about the king. Yeah, the princess and the king was where I was headed to next. And then the queen mentioned, or the princess mentioned another name. And I'm just, I'm drawing a blank on the name she mentioned before. The person that knows something about um, Sunfire. We'll have to talk to them. Uh, goodbye, Chocobo. You will be missed. They build it on it. But yeah, it's the same tune. Yeah, it's I mean it's the same um melody, I guess. They they'll they'll change like the the mix of it or they move it to an orchestration over uh, a MIDI file kind of a thing, but it's the same uh same kinda same beat and same everything recognizable it's really interesting it's kind of it's really impressive I mean uh, how they're able to just get it right the first time oh wait you do that I need to go get a light real quick. 
turn my light on, I mean. Alright, the sun has gone down and the natural light filling my room has left. Alright. Back to the queen for the gazillionth time. You know, if she was more organized in her plans, maybe I wouldn't have to run around all the time. Uh, so let's... No one there. Let's try going to the right. There, there are some buildings on the right here. Or rooms, I guess. That we can go into. King Zillis goes beyond. Far beyond the physical. There's little I can do. Every three years they celebrate a festival at the Flame in Kashuan. During the festival, the Sunfire is passed to Eagle's Torch. Okay. Let's learn. There are no terms to learn. What are you talking about? I want to learn about the torch. Okay. So many perished in the dreadnoughts attacks, probably the best if we sundered, surrendered to the Empire. Absolutely not. Scott sealed the gates of Kashwan's Keep to protect the Sunfire in the event they were defeated in battle. We will need the Goddess's Bell to break the seal. Okay. The whereabouts of the bell are known only to the Kashwan royal family. Okay. Gordon would know where the bell is kept, but I have not seen him lately. It's weird. That is one of the words. Yeah, I'm surprised it won't let me learn it. Ask someone close to Scott or Gordon. You may know where to find it. Maybe I can learn it now that... Weird. Anyways. If the game says we don't need it, then it goes to it. I'm gonna ask, because the princess was close to Gordon, right? Because Gordon was a prince? And she's a princess, so they're like brother and sister. Is that right? I've heard Scott and Gordon mention the bell. The gates of Keshwan's keep open only for the voice of a Keshwan or the ringing of that bell. The bell rests deep within the cavern on the snow plains. It will not be easy to retrieve. So it is your intention to enter the snow cavern. Very well. If only Gordon were here. There would be no need for you to risk such danger. But he isn't, so you must. There is nothing I can do but pray for your success. Joseph knows the snow plains like the back of his hand. You should seek his counsel. Uh, okay. Joseph, Joseph. Oh, he's the guy in the snow town. So we're going back to the snow town. All right, I think we're back onto the right path then. To the snowy mountains it is. Then maybe Joseph's gonna join our party? It feels weird only having three members on our team. Oh my god, these goblins. They're not very smart if they think they can fight us. Okay. I'm back to rent a boat. Off we go. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. There we go. Oh, I don't need to go to this town. Uh, although while I'm here, Maybe I'll ask Sid about um, this bell. Maybe he knows some information that might be useful. Nope. Never mind. Anything that's not an airship, Sid just doesn't know anything about. 
All right. To the cold we go. North is our destination. And we will not stop until our journey to Joseph is done. Oh, come on, Vampire Thorn, you can't take us on. Okay. Salamand. That's the name of this place. I'll need to remember that. Alright, Joseph, I need your help. What do you know about this bell? The only way to reach the snow cavern is on my snow craft. I keep the snow craft hidden in the mine. There's a blue stone on the first floor that marks the spot. Look behind the stone and to the right. Secret rooms there and the snow craft's inside. I remember that stone. I'm sorry, I couldn't help you find the mithril. So I want to make up for that, but Pitchy didn't now. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Is he joining us? Joseph joins the party. Okay, I'm gonna ask if anybody's in chat. Is Joseph a permanent member? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe he is. Okay, let's rest at the inn before we go. Are we even hurt though? Do I need to rest at all? Not really. Oh, but it doesn't matter because it's only going to cost us like two gold, so I might as well. I keep forgetting about that, that I'm not really wasting. He is not, okay. So I'm not going to worry about gearing him up or figuring out what I, if I should give him all the healing spells. I'm not going to do that. I've been a permanent for a long time. Really? Okay, that's good to know. I will keep that in mind. Maybe it is worth uh, teaching some more light spells to somebody then. Maybe not. You know what? I should, I should save. I haven't saved in a while. That could have been dangerous. I'm guessing Joseph is some kind of monk, that's why he doesn't use weapons. Oh, that punching, good job. Alright, to the cave. Oh, can I even get to the cave from this way? Or do I have to take the airship? I have to go back to Sid, don't I? Completely forgot about that. I need to go back to Sid, yeah. Boom, look at that. That's cool. Okay. Alright, back to Sid to give him more money. Done, Maria. All right. We'll back to Sid's town, whatever it's called. That'll lead us to that cave again, and then in that cave we can get our what is it like a, um, a snowmobile? He's gonna give us. I don't remember what he called it. Let's go rest at the inn, get our MP back up before we enter that dungeon again. Sweet dreams. Thank you. I will have sweet dreams.
right, Sid. Take us to that cave again. I guess Sid's, Sid's underling. He doesn't even get a name. Uh, Semit Falls, was that the place? Yep. Semit Falls, here we come. We're gonna touch a magical blue stone that's gonna give us a s snowmobile. We're gonna use that snowmobile to obtain a magical bell that's gonna let us enter a mystical keep and in that mystical keep we're gonna find a special torch it's gonna let us carry a magical flame that's gonna let us destroy the dreadnought a little convoluted but I think we can manage excellent so if I remember the Blue stone's like literally right here, right? Yeah. He's a good puncher. Joseph turns a small rock jetting out of the wall and a passage appears. Snowcraft is in here. Weird place to keep your... your side projects. You just keep it in a chest as well. <laughs> You've done a snowcraft. Excellent. Alright. Get out of here. That's uh can't wait to get on the snowcraft. It's gonna be fun. Everybody got an attack. That's nice. Alright, to the snowy mountains we go. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, thank god. So maybe we could have just walked here. I always forget I have a map. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe we didn't need to go to Sid, but I guess it's faster. Hopefully, this place. Yeah, it is uh, passable this way. I was worried that was going to be a dead end. Four goblins, four attacks. Ooh. All right. I think it's just over here, right? Or am I maybe not supposed to go back to town? Maybe I'm supposed to go back up and around and ski through the snowy Alps. Let's double check the map here. Uh, I think I am supposed to go up this way. Cannot wait to ride on this thing. It's going to be the coolest. Ooh, Sasquatch is scary. Oh uh, yeah, just let's just attack. Alright. It's all on you, Maria. Can you finish off this last one? You can! Excellent job, everybody. God, this, this group of adventurers is so much more competent than 
to the first group. This is not as exciting of a vehicle as I was hoping it would be. I was hoping we'd have like a snowmobile, we'd be shooting snow out from behind us. But this just looks like a modified sailboat. Kind of boring. Alright. Excellent. Get some agility up as well. Uh, where are we headed? Uh, I guess just to there. Big dot on the map. There it is. There's the cave. Snow Cavern Basement 1. Okay. Let's save here. And let's go. Preemptive strike, excellent. Easy. So this is dungeon two or three, maybe? Oh, this looks like a secret, right? It's not. This looks like a secret, right? It's not. Getting ahead of myself. Ooh. Dead head. This is spooky. How strong are these guys? Ooh, 26 damage. 22 damage, uh oh. Seven's not gonna be enough to kill it, though. Rhea has a pretty weak bow, don't you? It's okay, you're here for magic, in case we need some magic. There's a chest, we're gonna grab that for sure. 300 gold, I'll take it. Don't know who's leaving 300 gold in a chest. In a cave somewhere, it's kind of weird, but I'm not gonna judge people for things that benefit me. Alright. Another chest here. Let's see what we get this time. 350 gold. I have to remember, there's some of these chests can be dangerous as well, right? I'll have turtles in them. Scariest of all the creatures. Alright, let's kill some zombies. Good punches. Ooh. Not so good bowmanship. Ooh, is this two doors? Is this a door? Looks like a door, but I guess it's not. Snowman. Snowmen are scary. Maria, just because you're using some magic now doesn't mean you should forget how a bow works. You need to practice your bow still. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself. Alright, basement two. Here we go. Ooh, this is going to be cold water, isn't it? Are these guys weak against attacks, or do I need to use magic against them? No, no, they, the attacks work. Let's see, oh, there you go, that's better. That's how you use a bow, good job. Okay, there's a door here, anything special? Nope. Just a trap. Fighting an icicle. Oh, these guys are easy. We're crushing everything. Bring it on, 
chainsaw man. Boom. Snowman didn't stand a chance. Okay, except against an arrow. Excellent job, team. We are making short work of this dungeon. Basement 3. Now we gotta tread through water again. Sorry, team. There's no other option. Ooh, what? What is that? Is that paralyzed? I think it is paralyzed. That's fine. There's only three of them. And we've got three attackers. That should be enough to fit. Okay, never mind. Maria, you're starting to disappoint me. I don't like being disappointed. But she has magic, so I guess that'll... When that matters, it'll be very helpful. Another way up. So we're back in basement 2, but we're in a different area of it. Bit of a maze that we've found ourselves in. Uh, let's do this. I have a feeling this isn't going to kill everybody. Oh, he's paralyzed as well. So now we're for sure not going to kill everything. 20 damage, didn't kill it. Alright, easy peasy. Let's go left. Da, 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 da. Ooh, we're kind of hurt, aren't we? Joseph is taking some uh, big damage. Maybe I should heal. I'll wait a little bit. Ooh, chest! Antidote obtained. It's the best kind of thing to find. Ooh, another chest. Mithril mace obtained? Oh no, there's a monster in here. Uh-oh. Oh, this isn't too bad. This is fine. I'm gonna try... let's try thunder. This is way easier than the turtle we fought. At least it should be. Oh. Well done. Oh, those other ones didn't die though. Now they should be dead, but actually what I'm going to do with you is, let's do that. Let's see how much this does. It's pretty good. Uh-oh. Okay. Ooh, I was worried that was going to just like be a party wipe. It wasn't. So we got a special mace. Uh... Should I make him? He's got a mithril sword. Is the mithril mace any better? It's not. It's actually worse. What about for Guy? A little bit better, sure. But then he's not using an axe. That's fine. I think it's good to not stick with just one single weapon type for this guy because he's going to be dual wielding so whenever we find like an amazing weapon I think it's better that he'd be able to use it. Let's do that. And uh, let's actually save as well. Okay. Ooh, icicles. Ha, 12 damage, is that all you got? Okay, that wasn't very good. <laughs> but Furion and Joseph are gonna carry us through this, right? Okay, 
let's try going... Uh, is it down this way then? We, oh, another chest. Preemptive strike. What in the world? A shadow. That's scary. Uh, they don't like fire, right? Okay, shadow has been defeated. Crisis averted. Don't want to find out what that shadow was going to do. Oh, well done, Maria. Eyes kind of hurt, isn't he? Battle axe. We already have a battle axe. It's a lot of monsters. All right, let's see this thunder go. Boom. Good job. Man, Maria, I'm sorry what I said about your bow skills. Your magic skills more than make up for it. Please forgive me. Until you run out of magic. Then I don't know what we're gonna do. Oh, magic costs three, but I feel like ice... I guess I'll try it. I don't know how much better ice is gonna be. I feel like the, yeah, these guys are gonna be resistant to ice. way. God, it's like neck deep ice cold water. This is dangerous. We're gonna get hypothermia. Let's go for a thunder again. Big thunder spell. Boom. Just getting low on magic, but it's okay. We don't make it all the way through this dungeon on the first attempt, that's fine. Okay, let's I need to start saving up on magic a bit. Only have two spells left basically. Oh, that wasn't enough to kill it? Oh no. Now you do 25 damage. It's still enough, even with the miss. Alright. Basement 4. There we go. It's a lot of snowmen. It's a lot of damage, Furion. You're close to uh, hitting that 300 mark. We hit the 100 and 200, like, real quick. 300 is proving to be a bit more difficult to obtain. But I believe you will be able to. And I guess having the dual weapons kind of... You don't see big numbers, but you hit twice, so... Alright. Potion, that's nice. Blizzard Tome, that's cool as well. Who should learn that? Oh, they go first, I don't like that. Okay, he's paralyzed. I didn't check if Joseph had any spells, maybe he does. Oh, he's only got 5 MP though, so he probably doesn't. And any spells he does have are not going to be the most useful, I don't think. Or he's only going to be able to cast them once or twice. Guys, strength increase. All right. That's cool. Ugh, oh, one lone little ice skull. You don't stand a chance. Let's 
Let's go down this way. I bet there's a chest down this way. Yep. Of course there is. Just a potion, but that's okay. Two chests. Mithril spear. Ooh. Maybe I should get somebody learning to use a spear. How did guy get so hurt? Uh. So that cure is, I think, 30 to everybody. And 20, 20-ish. 20 I wonder how much it does if I only target one person. Oh. I don't remember that thing being so strong. Okay. Let's see here. Um, he doesn't have any magic. Oh. Do I, do I train him on the spear a bit? No, I won't. I'll just keep training up sword. And again, if I need to train... Offline, not on stream. I can, I can do that. So far, just keeping him on the sword seems like it's doing wonders. Maria's bow is not uh, not becoming the powerhouse I had hoped it would become. Her magic is good. Oh my god! Preemptive strike. Okay. They must have like 50 health. Yeah, 50 health sounds about right for them. Okay, just a dumb door that leads to monsters. Don't know who put that there, but I don't know what they were thinking. Dual heads. This is a little of a spooky fight. Uh-oh. Her bow is starting to lose its luster. 75 didn't kill it. Okay, I need to I need to heal Guy up. Stamina. So what's the difference between stamina and HP? Stamina strength. Maybe stamina is HP? Maybe stamina prevents um, ailments. That's my only guess. Okay, so curing all does reduce its potency a little bit. Uh, and then heal him. I think we're out of magic as well. Oh, that's not good, because he doesn't have... Oh, I should have saved. I shouldn't have used up all of his magic. Because now he can't... Now I can't cast Teleport. <laughs> that was dumb of me. Hmm... Do I continue going? Let's... I'm gonna save here. And we'll go further in, and if we end up in a spot that seems too difficult to get out of, I can always just go back to that save. I don't like getting ambushed. So I have a feeling... I mean, there's gotta be a boss at the end of this dungeon, right? And I have a feeling we're kind of... We're low on health, we're running out of mana. Three hits and you only did nine damage. Yikes. Yikes. Alright. His bow level increased. That's what I like to see. Now this bow is going to one-shot everything, right? Right, Maria? 
Mithril Shield obtained. I don't think I had a Mithril Shield, do I? I only have a Bronze Shield. Uh, Mithril Shield. Excellent. Alright, this is definitely a trap, right? Yeah, of course it is. Alright, let's see the big bow damage. Uh, we're not even going to get a chance to see it. Oh my god. Ambushed by ghoul. Ow. We can barely stand up straight. How did we get ambushed by it? Okay. Uh, things are going pretty well in this dungeon so far. The only thing I'm going to be concerned about is... If there's a boss, how strong is the boss going to be? Because we're kind of out of heals. Maria doesn't really have too many spells left. Her bow isn't that great. 287, wow. Joseph's going to be the first one to hit 300 maybe. Ooh, let's go down here. What's down this way? Another door that is definitely going to lead us to just an empty room again. Right. Ooh. This sounds nice. Who are these nice little like looking things? Come here, let me talk to you. Stop running away. Giant beavers, snook chit. These are giant beavers, really? Giant beaver, snook snook chit. I don't speak beaver. Guy speak beaver. Oh, guy does speak beaver. Is that his guy? Is that what guy refers to himself in the third person? <laughs> Snuck to chit. <laughs> Let's ask about the goddess bell. That looks like a happy thing. Secret passage in Walter Wright. Monster guard bell. Okay, so guy is like a, a, a warrior dude. He's not. He doesn't have. He's got a few screws loosed, and the screws that he does have, some of them are missing as well. So there's a secret. Does he know anything about Dreadnought? No. Does he know anything about Sunfire? Ask a beaver about an airship. Mithril. Wild Rose. No. So there's a secret. Is it this door here? It's set on the right. Oh, there it is. Wow. Snow Cavern Basement 6. Okay, let's do a save, but we'll do it on a different file slot. Is there no encounters in this? Oh yeah, there is. Ooh. A miss. Zero. Miss, that's good. Four hits for zero damage. That's not so good. Oh my god, guy. I gotta learn to dual wield. Come on, man. I saw a level in Priest Guy's HP increased. Excellent. So the beaver said there was just a monster through the door guarding it, so... There can't be that much left of the dungeon, right? Oh my god. Maria's bow leaves some to be desired, but her... Magic skills, I guess, make up for it. That looks like something important there. I guess we gotta go all the way around to get to it. It's literally called a grenade. I never noticed that. That's why it exploded. Ooh, seven damage, that's a lot. That's enough, okay. I feel like guy has fallen behind in the damage department. I don't know what happened. Oh 
no, it's our it's our super enemy, the turtle. Not the turtle. There you go, that's the kind of hits I want to see. We still didn't finish it off, but it's a bit better. Okay, so... Uh... Guess we use some potions. That's got a lot of health, doesn't he? So does Joseph. So I did obtain, I think, some a silver cuirass. It's the same. Oh, he's got mithril armor on. Silver, silver. Okay, leather armor. Uh, wow, no one has said anything in a while for chat. Oh, yeah, that's. <laughs> don't feel like you need to say something. It's if, you, if people want to lurk, that's no problem. Or if people got they they don't want to watch, they got stuff to do. That's understandable. Um, let's see, I guess, can he, oh yeah, let's give him this. Silver Curious, that, that uh, pumps him up a bit of damage. And actually, let's do a save as well. All right, it's our old enemy, the turtle. That's an Adamantoys guarding the bell. Stay on your toes. You are very good at commentating. Well, thank you, I appreciate it. I will say, back when the terrible videos that I made on this YouTube channel like five years ago, I will say there was, I guess it's, it definitely is a bit of a skill. It feels weird at the start when you're talking to nobody, but sort of talking through your thoughts, what's going on. It's something I've picked up on, or I've tried to at least. <laughs> so I'm glad, uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. That's good. It means I'm not horrible at something. <laughs> All right, we need to focus on uh, this tortoise, tortoise. This is the same thing we fought before, isn't it? I think it is. So uh, we can just beat him up with our magic. Although I don't have any protect spells, so it's going to be a, maybe a bit tougher. Uh-oh. Uh, I only have three MP loss, so I can only do fire, thunder. It's a tortoise, so maybe that counts as aquatic, so maybe that'll do more damage. I don't know. Joseph's doing some damage, though, but we're taking... Oh, he died. Oh, no. 32. Oh god. That's not good. Uh-oh. This is the upgraded version of the turtle. Oh, don't tell me that. Uh, ice worked well for you. Okay, I'll have to remember that after I'm probably gonna die here. But uh, I, I struggled enough with that first turtle. Now you're telling me I gotta fight an upgraded turtle. Alright, do you have anything? No magic. Any kind of items? Uh, I could learn this. I'll try, maybe, yeah. Do a blizzard tome. All right. Well, uh, we'll see what we can do with just our regular attacks. I don't think this is going to end well. But uh, next time we can, um, we'll try blizzard, see if that does a bit more damage. And maybe I'll teach guy blizzard as well. Oh, well, there goes our damage dealer. Never would have thought punching a tur tortoise would do more damage than a sword. Nine hits and you still do zero damage. Come on, aim for the soft spurts. Well, at least we know that Furion is kind of tanky. Although it doesn't seem like he's draws aggro all that often. It seems like Guy seems to take the most aggro. I'm not sure how I if there's anything I can do to change that. Alright, it's all on you, Maria. You've got this. 
All right, maybe you don't got this. Party has been defeated. It's okay. Uh, it's this one, right? Okay. Let's... Hmm. You just got a critical... I feel like I was maybe close. I did a lot of damage at the start with Maria and with Joseph. So maybe we'll just teach guys some blizzard spells. Yeah, just for this fight. I can't imagine he's going to be using it for very long. All right, let's try this again. Just need to get a few lucky critical hits in. Oh no, let's... Let's do this. And hope that uh, Joseph lives a bit longer. Oh my god, he's already taken like 150 damage. Oh, ice is the way to go. Thank you for that tip. Ah, uh, we're gonna one-shot this thing now. Oh my god. Good job, Joseph. Not so good job, guy. Oh, I should. I don't know why I didn't get him to use Blizzard again. Ah, look at how easy that was. Ah, oh, good tip. Good tip. I love it. Guy's staff level increased. He's not wielding a staff, though, is he? He got a diamond shield from that. Is this the goddess bell? There's something in the wall. It's the goddess bell. All right, we'll just take that. You obtained the goddess bell. Awesome. All right. Oh, and it's going to give us a nice, easy path out of here, isn't it? How nice. Oh, back to base. Oh, this was the door that I was wondering why, why it looked like a door I couldn't go in. Now I know why. Well done, everybody. And by everybody, I mean mostly Maria for doing all the damage there. Yeah, it must have been so close to death in the first fight. Oh well, bit of, bit of luck wasn't on my side that time, I guess. Alright, so we're closing in on five hours. I think what my plan's gonna be, I think we'll, uh, we'll rest up, we'll get ourselves to the dungeon entrance. I assume it's gonna be a dungeon. The area that I went to before. Oh, what's this? Hold that thought. Oregon curses, you've already gotten to the goddess bell. First you ruined my standing with the emperor. He was more nasally, uh, did his voice, wasn't it? First you get to the emperor, and now this. That's how I imagine he talks. The emperor will never forgive me for messing this up. If I ever get back to the emperor, he'll have my head. But I'm still a soldier. If I'm going to die, you're coming with me. Oh, I got another boss fight going. I wasn't expecting this. All right. Uh, let's try another blizzard attack. And then we'll just punch him to death. Restore three, really? You've taken like one damage and you're gonna restore it? And now it's all gone again. That was a really big hit. Oh my god, that was... Come on, buddy. Really, I, I fought a turtle once. You think you can take me on? What a joke you are. And we'll just walk around him. <laughs> oh, he is still alive. I may have lost, but don't think that you've won. I've booby-trapped this cave. Just a little party gift from me to you. Well, isn't this the exit? I'll be waiting for you in hell. Yeah. Okay, he is dead. I thought maybe he was going to be like one of those villains, like a Gary from Pokemon kind of villain. Okay, I was wondering why that wall looked different as well, and now I know. Damn it. <gasps> oh no! Go on, get out. We not leave you. God, I love how I love how a guy talks. I, I can't hold it much longer. Run! Oh, he's gonna save us. Oh my god. It's up to you now, Furion. My sweet Nelly. Oh my god, he's gonna leave his daughter. Well, on the bright side, his wife doesn't have to worry about disappointing him anymore, I guess. That's the only positive I can think of this. Aw oh, man, we were just getting to know you. 
And now you're gonna blink out of existence like everybody else. Oh man, that's really sad. Ah, all right, I guess we get to keep his boat. Uh, yeah, so the plan is, I think, um, I'm assuming this Keshwan, what was the name of the place? The place with the flame out front. I'm assuming that's going to be the next dungeon. So, um, we'll make our way there, I'll save the game, and I think that'll be the end of the stream for tonight. Um, I'll, uh, I'll post another scheduled stream. It seems, uh, people seem to... A quick take his silver cuirass. Oh yeah! Oh no, did he take a... Oh no, did he blink out of existence with all of his items that he was wearing? Oh well, it was only a bit of gold, I guess. Uh, anyways, back to my thought was... I... Oh yeah, I'll, uh, I'll make another scheduled stream. Either for tomorrow or Friday, probably. It seems like the... When I put a scheduled stream, it seems like... Uh, that helps a lot with people knowing when I'm gonna start. And it forces me to uh, start on time as well. I don't procrastinate. All right. But first, let's get to that next dungeon. Then we'll say our goodbyes. All right, and uh, my first thoughts about this game, I it's improved on basically everything from the first one. I don't know how much of that is the um, Game Boy Advance version that I'm playing. I imagine quite a bit. But this feels way smoother than the first one. If all of the, uh, the next five games or so are like this, I think I'll be in for a treat. I'm going to really enjoy it. Russian, these opponents, don't they know? They are turtle slayers. Uh, is it down this way? I can't remember. I, I should look at my map. Yeah, that's pretty big damage he's doing. There we go. I just need to check the map. Damn it, I'm going the wrong way. It was over this way. I was right the first time. I shouldn't have doubted myself. Yeah, we'll just get you to keep fighting. I don't really plan on having you using any magic. It was just for that one fight. Gameplay of graphics are very similar to this until 7. That's kind of what I've noticed. It seems like 1 through 6 are, for the most part, this 2D style. Um, and then 7 is where people's minds were blown by the 3D. So yeah, I think, because I, I, I'm going to really enjoy these 2D ones. Uh, we'll see if I enjoy 7 as much. Um, I feel like there was a lot of things about 7 that I just didn't pick up on, like the materia and all that. So maybe some people can uh, help me out with the intricacies that aren't really spelled out for you in that game. And then I'm really looking forward to... It's either 8 or 9 that people really give a lot of praise to. But I think both of those will be really good. And then 10... I think 10's a little divisive. And then I think, I think 13 is as well. 10 and 13 are the only two that I'm, I'm not sure about. Those are the two that I know the least about. All right, let's go talk to Sid. Uh, or Sid's uh, apprentice or whatever, underling. I think it's called, yeah. No, I didn't want to go there. I wasted my money. Yes. I did it again! God damn it, I'm too impatient. 
Ugh. Keshwan, let's go there. All right, I'm not 100% sure if this is where we're headed to next, but uh, we'll go there and we'll find out uh, next time, probably tomorrow. Oh my god, what am I doing? Just go up. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody else for tuning in. It looks like, yeah, Jocelyn, I mean, it looks like you guys are pretty much here the whole time almost. That's crazy. I'm glad you're enjoying yourselves. I'm enjoying this too. Alright, I'll just, uh, maybe we'll see if there's a quick little cutscene. Okay, four damage, oof. Gotta aim for the aim for the gaps in the armor, Maria. Oh, an antidote. So let's see. Sunfire, let's ask it about the goddess bell. Of course the fire doesn't know. Doors locked. Oh, I go to items and I use the the goddess bell. As the clear tone of the bell rings out, the lock opens without a sound. Okay, doors open. Let's walk through it. Keshron keeps second floor. We're gonna save there. Thank you everybody for tuning in. If you're here, I'm glad you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll be here. Probably tomorrow, unless there's something comes up, but I don't think so. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I am super happy about the second game so far. Um, I, I don't know how much of it is the Game Boy Advance version being just better, but uh, yeah, a lot of the slow, tedious stuff of the first game isn't here anymore. Thank you and have a great night. Thank you, Onion Man. You have a great night as well. Uh, I'm just going to save again because I'm paranoid that that didn't work. Yeah, that's going to be it. I'll be here same time tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. I'm glad you all enjoyed it, and as always, goodbye.